Oh, så er det. That will do. I still want to know why I keep talking in that voice. It's been the last week only. I don't know what's going on with me. Great outside timing, how are we doing today? Pretty... Honestly, I'm recovering from last night, and it's weird because I didn't get sick or anything, I just didn't eat for a long time. <laughs> I'm, like, still recovering. Chat. What's up, y'all? Bungie, Pineapple, Weox, Syrah, Water, Destron, Nearmyth, Wheelie, Darkumbi, Massimo, Headshot, that's all I got. Chat. Leak the kitchen picks. Stop yelling at me! I know it's all you want, that's the only reason you're here. Fuck you. I said 47 Sparkle. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I forgot this. Okay, new playlist. I kind of fucked with this for a little bit. It's a lot of instrumental. I don't remember how heavy this shit is. I think it's mostly calm. But there's some symbols in crashing. is gonna tickle my brain for a good bit tonight you're promised spicy photos i would like to talk to the person who promised those things to you how you doing firewall appreciate you homie stone phantom with the gifted sub thanks man what's the occasion so early to be so generous i appreciate you my favorite arc crazier craft streamer only how many people who were on Crazy or Craft actually played Ark? I guess there's actually a decent amount of overlap if I think about the first server that we played on when Ark first came out on the island. Yeah, fair few. Yeah, fair few. That tracks. What's up, man? Good to see you. What are you playing today? Uh, we're gonna be hopping on Mythical for a little bit. I want to show you guys what uh Josh did with the build. I hit him up this morning. I was like, so I built something at spawn. I have no clue if you're gonna fuck with it or not, but please do whatever on earth you want to do to it to make you like it. <laughs> if you're on before I am. And he hopped on and messaged me a couple hours later and was like, yeah, no, this looks sweet. I, I did a couple of things to it. Dude, he made it look fucking gorgeous. Like, he took the template that I had when I was way too tired. I couldn't. I didn't have any more energy to add the nice little features that would make it look like a complete build. And there's still a couple more things that I think we need to do before we really call it a finished product. But he made it look nice. Cherry on top, frosting, the whole nine yards. I just need to put it in a good box and throw a dick in there. Is it just me or does the ceiling look short? I'm like 5'1 at best. Maybe 5'2 on a good day. So. Might just be you. What's up, Cryptic? How you doing? I'm alright. How about you? Yeah, I, uh... I am. I... Wish I wasn't live at 10.28pm. I came back from a break thinking that this wouldn't happen. But for what it's worth, I don't think I'm going to be live for very long tonight because I'm really feeling like shit. I'm feeling like hot ass right now. So I'm probably only going to be live for a few hours because I doubt I'm going to be able to stay up very long. Ideally, I'd like to reset my schedule tomorrow and then go back to morning streams. But we'll see how that handles. Where are the photos of the long and spicy? Woo tax, I was waiting for you to get in here before I leak those. You gotta let me, you gotta give me a second, man. How you doing, chief? Guess you got your first VOD and stopped at the spawn build. Looking forward to seeing how it looks. Oh, yesterday's? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I I am really happy with how it turned out. There was a lot of doubt yesterday, but it was mostly because I was hungry and cranky. Not a good combination. Long kitchen photos, please. Watch you since the blue room. Love you, man. Hope you're doing good. 
And I pushing piece for you. I don't know what pushing pieces, but pushing piece back. What was the blue room? Blue room? That one's not cracking a bell, brother. What's up, Khalil? Not long time no see you, sir. You seem great. I'm doing... I'm good. I'm hanging. Loving longer hair? Yeah, I'm just letting it... Uh, add to your name. Kind of just letting it frizz out all over the place. Whatever it wants to do, I'm just letting it... Doing great. I'm about to head to bed, so I hope you have a great stream. Yeah. Appreciate you, boss. Thanks for coming around. Second is not feeling in general. No, I just. I mean, whatever sickness you would get from just not eating. Pretty much. Your parents' bedroom. Oh, you meant real life. Holy sh. Yeah, that's a long ass time, dude. <laughs> okay, I think you get an OG card. Chat. I know why you're all here. One moment. I know why you're all here. You don't care about my personality. You just care about my long, extended, spicy, kitchen pictures I know it's the only thing that you want to see tonight and let me tell you I'm going to do nothing but provide that for you it's all I've thought about all day today found this preset yesterday when we were fucking around with the audio stuff and I shouldn't use it. I shouldn't I shouldn't do this. I got to put that shit away. That that's that's for emergency situations. We ain't doing that tonight. It's 9:30 where I live. So when you normally stream is like 4 a.m. and I have to stay up. Oh, uh, 9:30 a.m. for you right now? We normally stream it's like 4 a.m. So when you say normally, like I don't I still don't know what you mean by that. I don't think there's a normal time. Why does your chat overlay not have pronouns? Uh I don't think I've seen a single stream chat overlay that has pronouns. I'm sorry. Now they're all nighter tonight, Pete. I really hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> I'm hoping I can get some sleep in like probably four hours. Truthfully, I'd go to bed right now, but I know that I need to get more food in me. And I have two very delicious sandwiches in the for refrigerator ready for me in like an hour. One of them is a nice club sandwich. Uh, and the other one is a tuna. And both of them are going to be inside of my person. Uh, one through my mouth and the other in my ass. Probably within a couple of hours. What's the first song that you learn on guitar? Play us something. Not gonna play tonight, but, um... First song that I learned to play? Uh... Oh, what's the name of it? It's not Hyper Music. Plug In Baby. Plug In Baby by Muse. Not the entirety of it, but the first... The, the intro bit of it? That was the first song that I ever learned how to play, and it's pretty much what I go back to whenever I need to do a little bit of warm-up before. I, I play it every single time that I pick up the guitar to get a bit of warm-up in. Uh, it goes like this. This is the start of the song. That beginning riff, 
is such a good and fun warm up. I absolutely love it. But yeah, it was the first time that I ever learned how to play on guitar. I remember having my guitar in high school and I'd just be like in between classes or whatever, or like during lunch if I already ate my food, just like going to some spot that was kind of out of the way and just like jamming on there or whatever. It was so fun, dude. I miss it. First time you learn how to play how? Because it, it it's not really very complex. And I also didn't really learn uh, a lot of chords and stuff to start out with guitar. Um, I kind of jumped in just trying to get tablature learned right off the rip, which I wouldn't exactly recommend if anyone wanted to pick up the guitar properly. Um, but I, I took it relatively slow, and it's it's not that complicated of a start, really. Um, but it's a, it's a good song. I recommend it. I fucking love Muse. They are a wonderful, wonderful band. Anyway, who gives a shit about me? Who gives a shit? Don't say that. Who gives a shit about anything else except the kitchen and my guitar? Do you guys want to see the kitchen? I know, you're only you're only here for one thing. This is a newer camera angle. I've been watching you for a while now, but I feel like it's my first time seeing your room fully. Uh, it's just zoomed out. I've pretty much, over the last couple of years, had this same exact angle, but every once in a while, I'll just, like, zoom it more and more and more out. Um, inevitably, it, there's still more that you'd be able to see, but this is how it is right now, yeah. I wanted to zoom it out this much because I wanted to have this shown. I wanted my YouTube plaque to be shown on stream. And I also wanted there to be enough room on the monitor for me to throw the chat up on there. Alright. So if you guys didn't know, uh, this morning, the countertops got installed. Big fucking deal. Absolutely huge. They look gorgeous. I was so nervous about them because I had no clue if they were going to look good with the cabinets. I, I, I had no idea. Until they got installed today, I had no clue how they were going to look. The only thing is, I knew roughly what they would look like because at the kitchen showroom that I got everything from, they actually had those countertops, those specific ones, on a demo, but on cabinets that were a completely different tone, they were much darker, very deep brown, and the countertops themselves were pretty beat up, so they really didn't look all that good. But I at least somewhat knew what they were going to look like. They're a little bit of a more warm tone white with some nice brown streaks. Anyway... Uh, this, let me find the proper one. This is what the kitchen looked like prior to this morning and has for the last week and a half, two weeks around there. It's been a little while that it's sat like this waiting for the countertops. That's the front, frontal view. That's the back view. Pretty good, right? It's, it's pretty good. You guys ready? Yeah, right. Let me make sure. Are the, yeah. They're, these are all the good ones. Okay. Ooh, I already showed it off by the at the end of last stream, but I took some better photos. So if you've already seen them, these are like a little bit better. Anyway. Oh. There they are. What do you think? Because I think they're pretty freaking good. Aren't those nice? I was hoping, so desperately hoping, that the streaks were not going to take too much of your attention off of the cabinets, and they don't. They're nice and they're there, but they're complimentary. They're not, like, a main drawing point for your eye. Also, they're incredibly cold. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna ever get warmer, because quartz naturally is a very cold stone. I hope to God it does, because they feel like ice cubes. But that's the front view. Uh, this is the view from the back. Peeking you bully Robin to upload again. I miss him in the pack vids. Sub to the pack channel. Rob's on there like every week. I'm not gonna bully him, not for free. He wouldn't like that. He at least would hope I get paid. I took some close ups, by the way, too. I'm not just a full body guy. All right, I made sure that y'all wanted to see the, the pores on this. I'll show you the pores. You, you tell me that cabinet there that countertop doesn't fuck that countertop fucks on the regular the counter in the back of the first image screams coffee bar if you drink that i mean i'm a tea guy personally with a little bit of hot chocolate here and there a little bit of hot chalky so also i had to just absolutely expose the sink dude look at that shit i've mentioned this before but i'm gonna make love in that sink one day i don't know to whom or when, but it's gonna happen. It might just be to the sink itself, if I'm gonna be honest with you. It would take some acrobatics, 
but that sink deserves some loving. And it's going to happen one way or another. Obsessed with the sink? It might possibly be my favorite thing in the entire kitchen. I cannot wait to start using it. Compared to the sink that I had before that was a double basin and much smaller that was annoying as fuck to use, this is... Oh, God dang. Happy 39 months, peace at HL. What's up, Misky? Thank you very much for the 39 er Appreciate you. Your kitchen is going to be full of ghosts with all that course. Honestly, I need the company. I hope they're homies. Crack open a beer or something? Maybe we can go to the skate park type of deal? Looks absolutely amazing. The only thing I would change is slightly darker cabinets, but it looks fantastic. Uh, I feel like any darker and they'd end up... I don't know. Because I had dark cabinets picked out initially. I think dark cabinets date a little quicker. And it would make the space feel more enclosed. It wouldn't make it feel as open as it does right now. I respect your opinion, but you're also wrong. Uh, that's like the little small counter next to the, that, or whatever. It's pretty nice. And then, bam, dude. This is, I, I cannot wait to start using this space. Because this is a blessing that I've done to this kitchen. When I moved in here, there was nothing in this space. It was just an open area. I think they maybe had a little breakfast nook, like a couple chairs and a small table right there. But there was no counter space in this kitchen when I moved in. Absolutely none at all. So I had to buy a silver table to, to make something there. And now it's a permanent addition. There were some deep drawers. Oh, they're deep. Oh, they're deep. They look so good. I know. They, they, they really, really do. Also, take a look. This wasn't... I had no idea it was going to work out this well, but peep how tight of a fit the countertop slides in underneath the molding of the windows. The furthest right window on this photo had to be shaved down just a little bit, but it slid in fucking perfectly in between those gaps. There's a little bit of variance because they're not perfectly straight. I'll need to figure that out. I don't really know what we're going to do about that, but that was one of the most perfect just you know you see those social media posts and it's just this obscure little room or indentation in a person's house and they take a photo and they just like put a drawer in there and it's millimeter to a match and it gets 120,000 likes and it's the greatest thing you've ever seen in your life that was pretty much as close to the feeling as I possibly could get I watched the three installers slide that bitch in and watch it just mesh underneath there perfectly, I think I saw God. I came twice. On the spot, instantaneously. It was an out-of-body experience. Personally, I hope everybody here gets to experience something like that in life one day, because that was a first for me, and I don't think it'll ever happen again. Induction or gas stove? Induction. Yeah, induction. I need to get a, a new pots and pans for it. I haven't done that yet, but I'm very excited. I'm not really a fan of gas, uh, so I just think it's dangerous in general. I had an electric before, so now we're switching over to induction. So You didn't record it? <sighs> I needed privacy. I can't record that kind of stuff. I'm leaking all these photos, and you're complaining that you don't have video? I would, too. Sorry. I have the double stick my family had, but one is... Uh, proper size and the other is small we use it to soak cutlery and similar stuff yeah for sure uh people who have islands as well i'm a little bit jealous when they have that tiny little sink there i don't really know what i'd use it for but there's a bit of jealousy whenever i see one damn you really have two sinks in your kitchen you got a whole giant single basin and then this little like bar sink it's so cool but i, I would never have a use for it i can't fit it in here anyway but Never thought someone would be this invested into a kitchen. Uh, let me just, um, let me just. When you live with her for seven years. Sometimes you start seeing nothing but stars when things are uh, progressing in a different direction. D do you understand a little bit now? <laughs> there, I have good reason to be as invested as I am into this. It's also my first major remodel I've ever done, which is not surprising because I'm 26. But th it's been an incredibly fun experience and everything. That thing looks awful to wash things in. Yeah, I did kind of like that one side had a garbage disposal and the other didn't, 
But if I needed to wash a pan, there was so much water splash everywhere. I fucking hated it. It was I hate hated it. The only really nice thing about it though was the fact that it's a double sink. I was able to use the little indentation, the divide in the middle to throw the jug onto. So if I wanted to fill it with water, I could just sit the jug on there and it would fill up and it would be perfect. That was a great feature of it. But what was really cool was the cabinet installer when he came out to measure a couple weeks ago before everything got ordered and everything. Uh, do I have a photo that's clear on... I think it should be on the one where the sink is, right? Yeah, so peep the two holes up there. He was telling me like, hey, how far do you want the second or possible third hole to be out from the center one? And he kind of pitched me on the idea that it's better to move it all the way to the corner because the middle one's going to be for the faucet, but the left one is for my filtered RO, my RO filter. So, you know, he was like, dude, if you normally had a little thing to rest your cup on, you should have it all the way to the side because that way you can swing it around and just have your cup on your counter and it can just fill up from there. And that was a genius idea that he pitched me on. So that was pretty cool. Love your choices for the remodel? Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I had a... I don't know if I have them on my computer or not. I should. But I had a reference photo that I found. Let me see if I can pull it up from somewhere. There was a reference kitchen that I was trying to base my ideas off of. Where might that photo be? Oh, it's somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, I think I know how to find it. Uh, Ref. Ref pick for the kitchen. Yeah, so this was back on January 4th? Yeah, January 4th. Let me save these two real fast. Honestly, I haven't looked at these since the countertops got installed. I'm curious. I think I like my countertops more. These look like granite. I can't tell. Hold on one sec. Let me add these two to the slideshow. See if they're allowed to fit in here. If there's got if if we got enough space in here, do we have enough space in the two? I think we do. Was that good? I think that was good. Uh, yeah. So this was the reference photo that I found online. That was pretty much if I could live in this kitchen and have it installed to a T. For the most part, I'd be pretty happy with it. That's the grander view of of the kitchen. Lucky fucks with an island. One day in my life, I'll get there, but not today. Uh, yeah, cabinets and flooring are relatively similar. I guess my flooring's darker than theirs. I mean, comparatively to this. This is a much colder photo, to be honest, than the warm that they got going on here. They got a lot of warmth in this. That's nice. I like my countertops more. They got a nice... I kind of... I kind of fuck with the glass that they have on the cabinets, the uppers around there. And then whatever that thing is that spans above the sink. Later and finally it's pretty nice. Yeah, the upper cabinets are good on this one. That's so pretty, but I prefer yours. They're both beautiful, I think. I mean, they got an island. They got a bar. They got what I think is really nice. And honestly, it would have been cool for me to be able to do, even though I love the floors that I currently have. They Their floors blend from the kitchen into the living room. It's all continuous, probably because the kitchen was built when the house was built on theirs. But that's a really nice feature about their stuff. But yeah. This was has been my inspo, and I was really hoping that it would turn out to be somewhat similar, and I think it's pretty fucking close. But it honestly doesn't matter. I'm not really looking at those reference photos anymore. This is how it is, and it's fucking gorgeous, dude. And I own the stovetop. I think that that's a lot of islands, no? So up, Zephanite? They were most of 20. Or, uh, wait, 17? 20 minutes of troubleshooting later and finally reset. Oh, shit. Appreciate you. Huh. Thank you. Just make sure the RO fixture you order is tall enough for your jug to fit under. Oh, it is. Yeah, I already got one that I'm going to be reusing. So, what color is the handle things for the sink going to be? Uh, it's like a, uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know. What do you call it? Matte gray, polished gray, uh, polished, um, I don't know polished something they're these i'm reusing those fixtures that are on the sink because they're already nice and they work flawlessly and there's no reason for me to buy new ones that's just an expense i don't need to spend there's no reason to you know chrome uh they're not they're not reflect well actually i think the ro one is reflective but it's really skinny so no nobody ever notices it we are one in the same the other one is a matte finish, but I, I think it looks good regardless. 
Polish Anasite, sure. <laughs> I haven't blinked in five minutes, it's so lovely. Hopefully you're able to get some good blinks now in the last 20 seconds. Brushed aluminum? Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> Sounds about right, why not? They both have their own beauty, I love them for sure. Yeah. Imagine having a kitchen that large. Imagine having a kitchen this big. Oh my god. Someone in chat has the biggest kitchen out of all of us and they're not saying shit. And honestly, they kind of deserve to be able to. If y'all got a kitchen that's this size, fucking, I, lord, good for you. I'm not envious, because I'm in love with the one that I currently got, but that, if y'all got a kitchen that big, take your blessings. That thing's a fucking beauty. Goodness me. Again, handles on a cupboard, etc.? Yeah, they're not installed yet, but I'm getting matte black handles and some knobs for, like, the cabinet uppers and a couple of the lower drawers. So they're going to look really good. The matte black, I think, matches the darker tone of the wood. And also, there's a lot of black features in my house, in like the living room and dining room. So it'll help the flow of those rooms connect, which I'm looking forward to. So. My dad may or may not have a kitchen larger than that. It was amazing. You had an espresso bar? Oh my god. Okay. All right. Canadian Yee, but might be on top of this conversation. Yeah, man, when you're when you're a kid, you know, you go to pool parties. Uh, I'm sure everybody had at least like one family's house that you went to. You go to a pool party and you don't really think about the size of the home when you're that young, because the only thing you care about and really even know about is the pool and just being there. But then you get a little bit older and look back and think, oh, they were well off. <laughs> like, oh, they, uh all basically had two floors to their kitchen holy shit i want to ask them about their career choices and be like them one day god damn there's one house that sticks out to me specifically when i think about that and the more that i remember it was in a gated private community it was a two-story beautiful kitchen granite countertops the whole nine yards everything was fucking gorgeous and their pool they had it was all stone jacuzzi outside barbecue stove grill the bar into the pool man now i'm thinking about it they had a bar so they they the bar area with the stove the barbecue you would step down a couple and then that's where the people would you know cook but then on the opposite side it was the pool so the bar extended over the pool so anybody who was swimming could just swim over to the bar and just pop their elbows up and their arms, hang out on the bar, kicking their feet in the water, and just have a drink or something or like eat something. Probably not good for cramps, but oh, how bougie is that, man? Like, are you kidding me? You don't got to get out of the water to hang with people that are cooking it? Lord. Sounds like a resort bar in Cabo. It fucking might as well have been, dude. With how small I was, it could have been a whole ass different island I was on. Swim up bars are pretty cool. I don't think I'd ever desire to get one, but I'll appreciate people who have one, because goddamn, I don't know. There's probably a couple chicken wings and bones in the bottom of that pool, I'll be honest. There could, how could there not be, right? I know a close, close friend, close, close friend with a large kitchen and they hate it because things are far apart for when trying to run from the sink over to the so oven or stove top. That's a fair point. Yeah, you can't interrupt the flow of the, the triangle, triangle operation, right? That's what I really love about this kitchen. You know, it's a little snug, but for one person, take a look at that flow right there. You got the stove and the sink right behind you, sink in the dishwasher, right touching each other getting all familiar the fridge is right there and then the the reason why th this is probably like my biggest gripe about the kitchen and something that i wish i kind of would have done differently do you guys see uh this space this space right here the only thing that i wish i would have done differently i called my contractor a few weeks ago thinking can i please get this changed and he was like dude this is gonna it's not as easy as you think it's going to be. We can do it, but it's going to be a lot of trouble. Um, I wish I wouldn't have gotten this little nine inch cabinet pullout installed because this is just a tiny little. Sorry, I'm dying in Minecraft at the moment. 
This is just like a tiny little open drawer. It just opens to the right. You could put some pan sheets in there or whatever. It's nice, but the problem about it is because of that, it makes the fridge poke out to be a really tight squeeze there with the wall that kind of protrudes, that wall right there. It's a very tight fit and it makes the doors a little bit of a problem. If that nine incher wasn't there, the kitchen or the, the fridge and stove would be able to move in a bit and that wouldn't be a problem. That's the only thing that I've really kind of fucked up on with this right now. It's not that big of a deal and you do get some more counter space. But if I could change anything about this so far, that's the one regret that I have. Everything else is pretty nice. The only other pitch that I had was to move the fridge from over on that side to where those cabinets are. That way, the fridge wouldn't be in that tight little corner. But I felt like if I did that, I don't, I don't know. You guys see, the counter space all flows together, right? From like the right side, it's a nice U shape. So you kind of just have this very continuous long counter space. I feel like if I put the, the fridge there and the counter space here instead, it would break that apart so it wouldn't flow as well. I don't know. That was kind of my thing. Because you're going to be chopping and doing stuff next to the stovetop anyway. So I felt like it'd be nice to have you doing that on the right side and not on the left away from the rest of the stuff. Doing it on the right where you have counter space behind you and to the right of you for larger things felt good. Uh, it made sense to me, but doesn't matter if it follows. Does it follow the important triangle rule? Well, that's what I'm talking about. I think there's a triangle in there somewhere. So you need the nine incher to be about seven point five. I need that nine incher to just absolutely get chopped in a hot dog chopper. I need that thing to be a zero incher. Simply cut the entire house on the line between those two windows, then move one side a bit to the right, then fill in the gap. Hundred percent feasible fix. Yeah, Risk, actually, uh, what are you doing uh, tomorrow? If you if you got the time, I got a couple of hacksaws and some super glue. You know, if you want to come over and help me take care of that. Because I figure if you're the you're the guy with the plan, come over and, and you do most of the work. I probably actually won't really even pick up a single power tool. I'll just kind of give you a thumbs up while you're doing everything. But I'll cut open a watermelon and cut you a slice if it's getting too hot out. But yeah, it's a real long kitchen you got there. Why are you winking at me? What do you mean on that? My grandfather's girlfriend is rich. They live in a fancy condo with a personal interior designer. What, the personal interior designer that just like hangs around? <laughs> got your interior designer on speed dial. Hey, uh, it's me again. Not really feeling the laundry mat. Can we get a stripper pole in here? She goes, and they're like, yeah, dude, we, we can do that. Is that the kitchen? No, it's my face. <laughs> anyway, hi. I'm trying to figure out what that text peeking out is. It's chat. That's yeah, you. I got a nice frontal view of you, whether you like it or not. Pulls out a giant water bottle. You don't know my secrets. Miss Kitty, did I get you on the uh, the 39er? If I didn't, I appreciate you. Thank you. Can you show the before picks one more time? Sorry. Uh, praise everybody else. Yeah, this is the before. Frontal view. Oh, there's no back view. I don't have the back view on this one. That's the nude view. That's the way I look at chat. Honestly, I wonder how enjoyable this kitchen would have been if it was clean. Like, if this was well-maintained, didn't have water damage, didn't have asbestos flooring, and didn't have a giant hole in the wall from a fire, I wonder if I would have been okay still hanging in it. I mean, it's cold as shit and very sterile, but also it's kind of like, it kind of mirrors my heart a little bit. I don't know. But now I got this, so who cares? Anyway. I was catching updates. You guys can go home. Uh, we're kind of done here. Anyway. I do have one thing that I want to show, though. 
that again is not anything that I did, but more uh, complimentary that Josh added. Chat, check this out. Y'all, y'all gotta see this. So if you were here for yesterday's stream, Josh and I had an idea when we kind of figured out a little bit that most, uh, pretty much around the same time as everybody else, how to get a really good amount of experience on here. So we were thinking, let's open up a bookshop. Why not? We could sell it to people, make some content, bring people together, and exploit. We're thinking, that's great, let's do it. So we figured, let's make a library at Spawn. And I had the idea for an underwater Atlantis themed library, open concept. And I came up with this. But take a look at what Josh had to do it. The algae, the reeds, the lamps. Look at how good this looks now, man. Like, are you kidding me? I love his vision. I love his vision for it. It looks so good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, the microphone's kind of broken on the server side of thing. It fucks. No, it does. And anyone who steps on here fucks hard in the reg. Got some copper block things I saw you using on the floor if you need some. Oh! looks stunning i know i'm super happy with it so yeah i i need to run it by josh he's not on tonight i don't know if he's really been on much uh tonight but i'm thinking structure wise i want to double check before i try oh <laughs> <laughs> um i'm thinking content wise what could be really cool is we could sell books, obviously, but running out of space. Sure. I want to do a little deposit and request system on here. So if anybody wants something, they can just come by and put in a request like, hey, I want a mending protection for unbreaking three diamond pair of legs. And the second that I get that in, I'll make it my job to enchant that piece of gear for them with everything they're looking for and then charge them accordingly for it when the job is done. I think that could be kind of fun because it's a little bit better, I think, than just selling books. And it also gives opportunity to where people can put something in. And if I'm not on, I can hop on later or if it's different times or whatever that we're both online, I can always just give back to them or deposit it off. I think it's a, a cool concept, but yeah. Um, it's sweet. I, I think it flows really well with the rest of spawn. Doesn't block any view of anything. I'm really happy. Oh, shit. Oh, I think Speedy removed the, uh... Oh, that's nice of him. Wait, I think he removed the crops that were here. Did he think that we needed space? Is that why he did it? I don't know if he's even seen this or not. Huh. I'm gonna assume that he did for that reason, so I can say that he's the fucking homie for doing that. But either way, I don't think... No, we're kind of good with just this. This is some more space backing it, though. It's kind of nice. Yeah, there's like a streak of crops right here. Or like, uh, little pots, whatever those are called. But they're gone now. Hmm. Maybe you did see it. Either way. I'm happy with the size. I think this is good. Any larger and uh, I think it would just be more than needed to be. You really just need the desk and some other space on here. But yeah. That's how the library looks up. I feel like the cattails make it more swampy rather than deep ocean vibes. Honestly, even if it does, I don't really mind it. Because the reeds... Oh, I just noticed. That's probably why I fuck with it so much. The reeds bounce off of the bookshelves really well. Damn. Yeah, they complement the bookshelves in the mossy path really fucking well. Damn, Josh. What the fuck? I should have hired him for my interior designer for my kitchen. Sheesh. Uh, 
I hope to God you're going to get into going to get Treves to protect your counter if you ever put a hot pan on it. Oh, yeah, 100%. That's the only thing that I'm a little bit nervous about because I need to adjust how I cook. The silver table that I had before, I could just toss a 500 pan degree pan on there and it'll be no problem. But I know that quartz and hot service stuff or anything hot really does not mesh at all. So it's completely fine with me being in there for a long time. But yeah, I need to get some stuff for that. You said Treves for those are good? I'm going to look those up. Kitchen. Oh. Oh, so those are just something you can sit on your countertop and then you just put whatever's hot on top of it and it'll just keep it between the counter space or the countertop. Oh yeah, those are nice. I think I will pick one of those up. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that. Dude, speaking of accessories for the kitchen, you know what I'm stoked on? I bought uh, one of Junkyard's cutting boards. I think he posted about it two weeks ago. I was like, dude, this is absolutely perfect. So I bought one of them and I still haven't opened it. And I told myself I'm not going to open it out of the packaging until the kitchen is done and I'm ready to cook in it as like a little treat to me. But I'm really fucking stoked. Jack's a really cool dude. It's sweet that I was able to like pick up one of those. I think that's awesome. If that about adding sea lanterns, I feel like that might fit the color palette. It would add some nice light and maybe ambiance. Uh, we were talking about that, yeah. And I was thinking about adding some sea lanterns for light. Josh already added a few lamps. Not too many, though. It's still a relatively dark build, lighting-wise. Aside from the candles and the lamps. I don't know where the sea lanterns would go, because I feel like putting down sea lanterns wouldn't work with the lamps. Almost like it would be too noisy. Maybe in the floor? Maybe they would work in the floor, kind of scattered around a little bit. What do you think? From Masa, I need your playlist, brother. Name your pricing crowds for the info. <laughs> Well, I've always given it out for free, but now that the pitch has been thrown... What is my cost for a private playlist in currency on this server? Hmm... <laughs> Better yet, what if I sell them a subscription to be the first to know about any new playlist that I make? We could cook on this a little bit. <laughs> Treves are like metal protectors that don't transfer heat very slowly, and some of them are very decorative. Oh, okay. Yeah, the ones I saw online when I first Googled it are wood, which look really nice. And then also just water the corn. Hold on, me. <laughs> Let me see if I can grab the link for him and put it in Twitch chat or in Minecraft chat. Does this work? Wait, that was about to just be dropped in general or in all chat. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. You would not have seen me again. I just got banned. Oh my god, I just got banned. Oh, I banned myself. Oh, I'm such a dickhead. God fucking damn it, dude. It's all over for me. <sighs> oh, it's all over. I got hit with the virus. I'm suspicious now. Cops are knocking on my door in two minutes. It's just, it's the end of my career. Fuck! My mother thinks you're a hot, skinny guy. Is your mother single? Asking for me. Yo, Brizzy Grace, they're almost at 34. Appreciate you. Thanks, homie. You may put them on the floor and put algae and other vegetation on top. 
Dude, the algae is such a good ad. Like, dude, this is custom. I had no idea that you can even get these, but they look fucking beautiful. Like, it looks like they don't follow the... The natural, like, block placement in the ground. It looks like they just cut through. Like, they don't even care about being placed in a block. They'll just cover that shit. It looks so good. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool to mix in some cyan glass to an aquarium underneath with like a conduit fish guardians or something. So what you're saying is that we have room for expansion. Luke, I know for a goddamn fact you did not just at my name with a single T. I'm gonna beat my ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go beat my ass. I don't have to go, Sibs calling my name, and I would like to be able to make breakfast before work tomorrow. Bye bye Pete in chat. I would also hope that you were, it would be able to make breakfast before work tomorrow. Have a good work day, boss, I appreciate you. Are bamboo leaves in this pack, or some equivalent? Might look good for vertical algae and some of the taller pillars. Uh... There's all the bamboo that we got. No bamboo leaves, though. Are bamboo leaves a vanilla thing, or is that some other modded thing that you've seen before? I was gone for 24 hours, that's what I come back to. PU Legend? Oh, I mean... The prismarine and bookshelves and structure was me. But the algae and the reed and the, the better... I baked the cake, Josh threw on the icing and the cherry. It's it's fucking beautiful, dude. I love it. Welcome back, homie. Modded but comments in a lot of planet expansions. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Pretty much any custom thing on here is only through the mythical mod. I don't think there's anything that's not mythical. It's either vanilla or mythical. That's essentially it. Which is a very unique take on it. So there's no different trees, no different leaves. Unless the mythical mod has different variations of leaves. Yes, yeah, so like what do we have here? Minecraft, 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 all Minecraft, that's it. Hear me out, frog lights? Mm. Are frog lights a bitch and a half to get? Don't you like have to make the frogs fuck or something in a certain biome? Don't they have to fuck on a block in a biome and then it turns into that underneath it or something? Oh, it's the eating magma cubes. You're right. Yeah, I ain't gonna do that. Have you heard of the no shark from Lincoln Park? I think it's called Friendly Fire. I. I'm going to be honest, I only got through half of it and I stopped listening to it. I don't really like their newer stuff all too much. I didn't, it wasn't really, it wasn't really me. I should have given it the attention deserved and f finished the song. I just wasn't really in the mood to listen to new music at the time that I did. So I probably should have waited until a different moment, but I didn't really vibe with it all too much. Long time no CP. Curious question. I'm recently getting into Applied Energy 6 2. Is there good mods to power that is compatible with it? Anything RF based? Uh, usually Power, I think, is the most common one that people like. I don't know. Under the Shadow, by the way. Yeah, I still am. I'm not tired of people telling me that yet. Not yet. When I was first downloading the mod pack, I was hoping for a lot of wizard stuff. I mean, there may still be. There may still be in the future. Because a lot of stuff hasn't been added yet is going to be over the course of this SMP. And I assume anything that would end up getting added probably includes modded blocks and other variations of it. And I'm assuming they'll probably update the pack to include that stuff as time goes on. Maybe, we'll see though, but... What's up, Skybees? Yo. 
So yeah. It's a quiet night right now. But uh, yeah, spawn build's looking pretty good. So we'll get this up and running soon. Then the next task is going to be... I need to move everything over from the spot that we're at right now over to this area. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. I think I did this when I was off stream. But uh, this little circular claim right here, this is going to be Josh and I's base. I think it's pretty cool. It's a little far away, so I still can get my, you know, introvert alone time when I need it. But it's also not super far away from everything. Because here's the deal. I don't want to move away from Zane, Pionk, and Kara. Because they're my friends. And we plan to, you know, at least neighbor each other. Because I was living with Josh. And I didn't really have the opportunity to move in with them too. But I just... We're so far away from everybody else. So I figure what the plan of action will be. Um, Create the... Plan of action will probably be that we keep some sort of... Oh, my God. I got to get to chopping. We're going to keep some kind of farm up here with all this build. Because I think this looks really great. But we're going to move everything else down there. Because, yeah. I don't know. We're just really high up is the thing. You know? Like, we're not super, super far from spawn by any means. You know, here's the spawn building. This is where I'm going to gonna move to. And this is where we are. Like, it's not that far. We're just really fucking high up. Like, look at how high we are. You know? Oh my god. I wouldn't know the feeling, but this is what it has to be to, like, look at a sunbather or something from a taller building window, right? I feel dirty doing this and quite possibly might go to jail, but. Holy shit. I can't stop staring. Is that Kaiser down there? My fucking god. That is intense as hell. I love this build. Holy shit. It looks so good. Oh god, don't look up, don't look up. This is beautiful. Good lord. What is all this? Just stone brick, cobblestone, basalt, red stained glass. Fucking bossler type B, dude. What's in chatter, Mr. Pizza? What brand is that microphone? Blue. It's the mouse. Uh, same blue that's made the snowball, Yeti, and all that kind of stuff. It's the first hour. I was in the shower. What did I miss? Uh, just my absolutely uh, scandalous nude photos. And also me going... Uh, I'll show you the, the spawn build. Because you probably missed that as well too, but... This is what the uh, spawn build is currently looking like. After Josh got his hands on throwing down some very nice finishing touches to it. Oh yeah. Lanterns. Sea lanterns. It's a little dark. It's a little dark. Surrounding areas. Are the rest of the builds in the area kind of bright like this would end up being? Because the thing is, it's a little dark, but... Is that fine? Because look at this build, right? You got some lighting, but it's not super lit up the entire way through. Like, they didn't add any lighting here. And I think it kind of looks nice that way. We might end up being that one annoying neighbor that you moved in, that moved in, you got some, brought some cookies over, really thought you were going to get to know them and they were going to be great people, and then they install a 7,000 lumen floodlight. And then you hope they just, you know, one day slip and, uh, I don't know, hurt themselves minorly. I don't want to be that neighbor. There's not really a lot of bright light around the area. I kind of like the low light. I don't know. Shall we feel in the low light? I think the, the lamps that we got pretty much do everything we need. I don't think there needs to be any more brightness to this. 
Neighbors that moved in behind us did that shit? Oh. See, like, how bright are we talking here for your case? Is it bright enough to be pissed off or just like, uh, You're annoying. I don't like you. <laughs> I bought a floodlight when I moved into my house, but I straight up returned it because I knew it was too bright. Not for me, but for my neighbors across the street. <laughs> I'm a good bean. Also, just a very overthinking, paranoid, if I do something even slightly inconvenient, someone's going to hate me for the remainder of their life kind of person. Hey, while we're venting, does anyone else take two hours to respond to a very simple message because you're afraid that you're going to say one word incorrectly, even though it is the same word that you're going to end up typing anyway, but you want to make sure every message is perfect and you end up not replying to conversations at a decent time because every fucking message you write feels like it has to be put up perfectly because it's going to be held up on a plaque somewhere or put up on a piece of paper that's taped to a refrigerator and hung up in their house for the rest of their lives. They take it with them when they move and they think about it all the time. Yeah, I only hate myself a little bit. Yeah, Skybeast with a very uh, <laughs> proper use of that emote. I see you type three hours for three words. Did you comment at all on the build? Didn't comment on the build, didn't comment on the anything, but you commented on that. Interesting. 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 It's okay. It's fine. You're just being truthful. <laughs> but no, you're right. I... <laughs> it's so stupid. Like... <laughs> It used to be a lot worse. It's better now, but that that's something that I think is just kind of silly for me. I don't know. I hate texting. I'm not a texting person. One reason why I like talking to my brother and my dad is that they very much don't mind when I just call them out of the blue. Because I hate texting people. I hate responding over messages. I would rather call you. I would rather you call me. It doesn't matter what time of the day or what I'm in the middle of. You want to talk to me? Fucking ring up my phone and talk to me on the phone. Could be FaceTime too. I don't care. I just hate texting. I don't like it. I think it's real when you see it typing and stopping over and over again. <laughs> it's fun too when I'm like, talking to someone who's streaming, and they make a remark like, Oh, Brandon's typing out a paragraph, what is this? And I'm just like, type, 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 backspace. Type, 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 type. Backspace, type, backspace. Typing is, shut up. <laughs> <sighs> Me when I Google Word before I use it to make sure I'm using it right? No, that's real. That's real for sure. Sometimes I'll Google a word that I'm I 99% sure I know the meaning of, but I want to make sure I'm not a dumbass. I'm a call person for sure. Texting takes too much time for real. It's not even the time. Oh, it's snow. I got you. <laughs> there you go. I'm not going to get banned for that one. Uh, next post is a charge, though. 10,000 crowns. Actually. 12,000 crowns. Um... It's not even a time thing. I don't know what it is, because I'll very easily spend three hours on the phone with somebody and not even think twice about it. I don't I don't care about it. But something about texting just feels stupid to me. I don't know. I'll message you a yes or no question and you type for 25 minutes. In fairness, sometimes I'm in the car. Sometimes it is not all the time, but sometimes like I'll I'll say something right before I'm about to start driving off somewhere. If I get out of a restaurant or wherever I'm at, and I get in the car and just respond to a message quickly, and then I get hit with a question, and I like type for a second, but then I'm not really sure how I want to respond to it, and then I'll backspace and not respond for another half hour because I'm driving it again. That happens at least like twice a year. The other times, it yeah, you're right, but sometimes I have an excuse.
Sometimes I just feel stupid, like I'm illiterate and I don't know how to speak to people, which is true. Anyway. I got crops that I gotta break down and sell. Was Josh on the- That's my fucking boy right there! Look at that! Look at him! 36,000! My man making rounds! God motherfucking damn! What's my balance setting that? Oh, can't hold a candle to that shit, good lord. Where was the scythe? What's the point of this thing? So I hope you don't mind me asking you because you're here, but what's the point of the scythe if it has a durability? Are you meant to put unbreaking and mending and stuff on it? So you can get up to the... Like, caught or the thing? The hunters on all these? And then it... Does it upgrade at that point or something? I buy a new scythe every time I farm. What's the point of a scythe though? Doesn't it just end up breaking it the same way breaking it with your fist would? There's sort of time. Oh, but that's the upgraded, right? Hmm. People have commented to me at work about the three dots lasting forever. <laughs> I got the golden side today, which breaks the 3x3 three three square, like how mine waters. Yeah, that's probably nice. Yeah, so... It has 500 durability, and you need to break 500 things. Is the play to as insider trader informed that you can put mending on the upgraded size? But can you not on these? Can you repair a scythe to keep it going? Or how... What's the best way to get this thing to upgrade? Expensive book for a zero-star scythe? Hey, you're right. Wait, so how do you get the golden one? If it... How'd you end up getting the golden one, then? Did it just fall into your lap? Like, it wasn't the scythe that changed into a golden one? Personally, if texts go longer than 10 back and back to message, you get to call, you get a call? Yeah, I'd rather just start out that way, to be honest. Really, friends on deliver for so long because responding is literally like a new task for me instead of just something casual. If you get on with Pokemon, he does events and puts shulkers around, and if you're the first one to get it, there's special stuff in it. Oh, okay, so there's no upgrading this. Yeah, I feel like I'm asking you a million questions. Okay, never mind. Any playlist in the future is free just because of this inconvenience. So then what the hell is the point of- what happens when you get a hundreds on all these, and then it allows you to use it? What does it do? No, man. <laughs> it's that water break. That's tragic. I feel terrible. <laughs> I'm buying another scythe. I'm gonna put on breaking on this bitch. I'm gonna waste an unbreaking. I know I am, but I don't really care. I have something I need to figure out. Do I even have unbreaking? Or like a high level of it? Even just unbreaking one would work fine, I think. Just to have a little bit of extra buffer above the five hundo. Unbreaking is a green book. Whoops. Wait, that's a green book, my bad. I have problems starting a conversation, then just mainly texting and talking. I'm usually quiet till someone talks to me. 
That's a really difficult one. I had phases, not really much anymore, where if I messaged someone first, I felt like a burden, like I was bothering them in some way. But it's a really shitty feeling because no matter what you think, that is almost never the case. But the flip side is it ends up basically becoming the other person thinks that you don't care to talk to them because they'll eventually stop messaging you as often and then you won't. So then they'll just be like, oh, damn, OK, it was a one sided thing. It's a really shitty spot. I've had that happen with a couple of people in my life years ago. I'm better about it now, much better about it. But yeah, those are uh, times where the thoughts in your head will definitely impact in a negative way because it's nothing of like what you're thinking about. Appreciate you, Cosmicos. Thank you. Appreciate you for that. Tell me the fuck out why don't you? Yeah, would you like me to name drop you next time? Because I was admitting it for a reason. I was talking about you and nobody else here. You think I deal with these problems? <laughs> Not a chance. No shot in the... No chance in the grave, bucko. I think you can apply mending and a break in the size. Okay. But yeah, the only the only question I had though, okay, that's a lie. <laughs> My twelfth question: What happens when you actually get a hundred on all these and it lets you use it? Like, what does it do? Because that's the only reason I would want to throw unbreaking on here would just be to see what happens when all those hit a hundred. Like, do you harvest it differently? Does it do something better for you? Or, like, let you right-click it, and then you don't need to break, but then what's the point? I don't know. If you throw it to me, I can actually show you. Oh, okay. Uh, I can... Oh, you're here. Man's gonna steal my scythe. Only gonna hit the middle block. Oh. Wait, you're using the scythe that I gave you just now? Even though it wasn't at 100? It's like a per player thing? It doesn't break the ones if they're not ready. Oh, is this out of 100? For, like, any scythe that you make? I know you're rich, but that's for the uh, questions. <laughs> One corn per question. At least I can offer. You don't need to use a scythe. I do like the 1x3, though. That is nice. Okay, so, yeah. This one... No, it's 0 out of 100. Oh! <gasps> You can break it with your hands and it counts towards the progress. Everything makes sense now. I'm born again. Thank you, my king. Some ears aren't done. Sometimes there must be casualties in war. E20 the homie. Oh shit. Oh, I've broken nubs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, well. Uh, tough spot for them. That was a good teamwork. <laughs> I literally watered the fucking ground. <laughs> Why did my brain not turn on for a second? Oh, cool. He's watering the soil on the crops that are ready to be harvested. How, how cool of him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we got some trauma dumping going on here, huh? I've lurked in this channel since 2018 and finally got the courage to chat. I guess I'm in hardcore sucking reaching out era. This shit hitting deep. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you know it's bad when that also affects the Twitch chat experience. Dude, Twitch chats are incredible. You can say the absolute dumbest, most heinous shit and nobody's gonna fucking care. Because the person below you is always stupider than you. Morning, I'm touching it. Oh my god, you are. Don't don't chat below your own mess. Oh. I fear this is unrecoverable for you. There's nothing I can do to help you. God, just watch the murder. Oh, well, GMAC? It has been a while. How you doing? I plant other stuff, the corn. Let's get the hundred out of this shit. True, but also, I'm just keeping it corn right now because my man Josh needs to get up in the ranks, and I know he's been grinding cash. I want to make sure I'm keeping the highest production for him. I don't really care too much about getting 100 hundred for me. But it's his farm plot that he made, so I want to make sure I'm filling the shit with corn. Any more corn? Got an idea? Ooh. Gotta go spawn. <laughs> Part of my development of dealing with ADHD is accepting that I need reminders for everything. Like anything I need to do, put an alert for it because I absolutely will forget it later. So now, do you find success in uh, saying things out loud to make it stick in your brain a little bit for more? I do that and it works wonders for me. Many times throughout the day. Many, many times throughout the day. I'll go like from downstairs to upstairs because I need to get something done. Super trivial thing. And I'll just completely forget. Only for usually five or so seconds. I just find myself walking into the wrong room really quickly and then backing out and going to the right one when I realize that I don't need to be in there. So it's not major forgetfulness. Like I just entirely don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. But it's little micro forgets. Like, I'm like, oh, I gotta go up and, I don't know, get my vitamins upstairs. And so I'll walk up the stairs and go into the room. But then I'll pass by and go somewhere else. And then I'm like, oh shit, it was the vitamin. But if I say out loud, like, I need to go get my vitamin. Then I'm like, lock the fuck in. And I don't really need to focus on it much more because it just kind of, it, it flows well, right? That works for me. Nice hundo 20. Let's see what this does. Very thrilled by this corn farming. I know it's not as useful in vanilla, but I would love, love, love farming crops in Minecraft. Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft could definitely use some Stardew Valley inspo, I think. I Me mean, having never played Stardew Valley, but people say it's similar to it. Oh, it's basically perfect. No good, just dealing with the life stuff. How goes the mining and crafting? Yeah, about the use with you on the life stuff. Hopefully, all is still treading upward, though. Out of curiosity, since you play a guitar a bit, would you have any recommendation for getting into guitar? I've been looking to start, but not really knowing where to begin. Um, look around your town for local uh tutoring that you could find. 
classes. If you're that if you're that kind of person, there's something really invaluable about having someone actually sit down with you and introduce you to the instrument. Because otherwise it's really intimidating. I got into guitar through band class in my high school. So I had my history teacher, who doubled as my band teacher, band instructor, kind of set me through the initial phases of a guitar. And that was perfect for me. And then my brother, who wasn't like around at the time physically to help me, because he was off somewhere else. Um, I explained that in such a weird way. He was in a different state with his family. <laughs> huh. Um, well, not at the time, I guess. I was high school. He was off in college doing other shit. But for the most part, I'd call him and he would give me just some advice over the phone. But it was still really nice to have someone who was experienced actually watch me play it and help me with, you know, finger location, how to properly strum, really getting a feel for just holding the instrument. And I mean, like, you could probably look up just like a guitar center nearby you and see if they're offering classes. But if you're down, I, I always think that that's a good, a really good starting point. It's invaluable. Even if you're not super down for it, I'd, I'd maybe push yourself to go. What's up, Sick Nasty? I knew someone who made an Excel sheet with all their friends that would notify them if it had been too long since they texted someone. <laughs> you know, yeah, that probably actually works. <laughs> oh, brother. That probably works. That's still kind of funny to hear about, though. You look tough in that sweatshirt? Thank you. The sweatshirt looks tough on me. I always forget to eat because every time I go to the kitchen, I give myself a drink and forget why I was there. I had to start setting timers. So you teleport to them. Bring me over. God, I didn't know I was in need of a humbling. Ah! Did you get this out of the crate? Like from an event thing? Or can you just buy that? That's dope. Event? Oh, it's sick. Nice turnips, man. We gotta check and see what the daily value of a turnip is. You break this, gives you 100, 100 turnips, and just bring them to me. D d did I say you could do such a kind gesture for me? I'm gonna go fuck myself. This is really nice of you. Damn, he gagged me with that one. It's hard not to work out there on the field there, brother. Those farms ain't gonna farm themselves. Which ones need left? Um... I don't know how I check. And to break something. I gotta break some shit for real. I need 66 onions, 88 lettuce, and 95 tomato. That makes sense. I'm normally a learn on your own type of person. I'll probably give it a shot. A close friend gave me a guitar recently because I was thinking about trying. We're talking about trying and getting into it soon. So I was at least going to try to do the instrument justice. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude, if a, if a friend gives you an instrument, it is your civic duty to make sure that that thing gets some good loving. Good on you. Uh, that's always cool. I, I always love hearing about people getting into instruments because I, I think it's... You know, it, it's one of the universal ways that people all over the world can connect with each other and talk about some shit. Music's great. Instruments are incredible. 
I think that's pretty dope that you're learning the guitar. Are you uh are you doing acoustic or electric or what kind of guitar are you rocking? Acoustic? Oh shit, okay. Well, hey, when you inevitably get really good at it, you can come back to me with some advice. <laughs> I have not picked up the acoustic guitar before. Well, that's a lie. I was given the acoustic guitar for a day. Out there. When I was in band. But my instructor very quickly saw the way I was holding the guitar, and when I talked to him about the music that I listened to, the next day he was like, Hey, we're gonna change your instrument. Why don't you try out the electric? <laughs> that was a that was a good idea by him. That was a very good shout. Not to say that I wouldn't love going back to it now. I didn't dislike the instrument anyway, but I definitely had more of an inclination to try out the electric. It fits my personality better, but I do still love a good acoustic. I was thinking about getting not necessarily a cheap acoustic guitar, but something not too expensive. Maybe just borrowing one from my dad for a little bit to muck around on and get a feel for. I always... It, it, it sounds like a privilege thing, but it's really not. I always steer people away from if they're wanting to get into an instrument or try it out for the first time, buying the cheapest one that you can afford. I'll always say that you should go for the most expensive, or not necessarily most expensive, but the best instrument that you can afford financially, even if it's a little above what the price range you would normally be looking at for. Because... A lot of times when we think about getting into an instrument, it's usually because we listen to a very talented artist play that instrument through a song that's well produced, well mastered, whatever. It's not just raw. Like, Sean, right? You listen to these instruments and you're thinking, damn, I would love to get into the guitar. Just hearing all this good, like it sounds so fucking beautiful, right? And what happens a lot is people will pick up kind of a cheap instrument to try it out. Like, I'm going to go pick up a guitar, just whatever, a little small one, because I don't know. If I end up liking it, then I'll maybe invest in a better one. But this is safe for me, because if I don't end up liking it, I didn't spend a lot, and it's not that big of a loss. But usually you pick it up, and it, it doesn't sound as good as it could. It doesn't feel as good as a better guitar would, and oftentimes it gives you a bad first impression of the instrument. Versus getting a nicer instrument, you're thinking, oh, this thing's a beauty. It sounds better, it feels better, and it kind of does that little something for you. And you usually will feel more inclined to continue the instrument because of that. So that's why I think if you're going to buy an instrument, go for a nicer one. And also, if you don't end up liking it, you'll have an easier time reselling a nicer instrument than a much cheaper one that probably nobody will want used. Or if they do, you'll almost have to give it away for half the price that you did. But a nice guitar will very likely retain its value if you don't damage it in some major way, right? It's kind of my pitch on that, personally. Also, go into a guitar center or any local store, a local music shop, and just sit down and fuck around with some guitars for a couple of hours. Not even necessarily play them if you don't even know how to play them. Just pick them up and hold them. Get a feel for a guitar that feels nice against your chest, your lower stomach, something that sits right with you. Because you don't want to bring home a guitar that you think is really good, but then you hold it and it doesn't, doesn't feel right and you're not comfortable with it. You want a nice instrument if you're going to introduce yourself through it, you know? Yeah, Polyphia realizing I'm not Tim Henson. <laughs> yeah, there's only two, well, there's only one Tim Henson in the world. And even the other guy who's named Tim Henson ain't Tim Henson. I see Polyphia in concert, and man, they're talented. I have not seen them in concert, but I would kill to. So, Sparkles?
Have you ever heard of a band author and Punisher? It's a really cool one-man band, but instead of the normal stuff, it's all custom-built instruments for industrial slash metal. No, it's not your main jam, but it's an interesting dude. I will take a look at that after stream. Thanks, Risk. I've not heard of them before. Do you have any songs that you think would be a good introductory? I usually always ask for like one or two that people would recommend if I'm going to try out something different. I was stuck in Palofia for like six months. Tim Rips. Yeah. It's always good to fall into a band that just makes music because they know that they fucking can. <laughs> Oh, this is a nice song. Damn, this is these guys are really good. One and a half minute guitar solo that's only there because the guitarist can fucking do it and they want to show that they can do it. And you're like, oh damn, they can do that. Okay. Didn't know you were like that. Yeah, I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't really want to play Minecraft tonight. I kind of want a dumb brain lethal. Goodbye to me. Maybe hop back on Minecraft later if I'm still hanging around stream, but for the time being, I don't really have any inspo to do anything at the moment. Because the only thing I really need to do is just spend a long fucking time in the nether doing nothing but getting experience so that when we inevitably pop the shop up, I've got just dummy amounts to try and get what people want me to grab for them for the shop stuff. And I don't really want to stream that right now. <laughs> so I'm going to hop on lethal for a little while. Bellatro? Uh, can't focus on Bellatro yet. I still got a kick for lethal. Lethal kind of ended because of Power World when I still had a desire to continue playing Lethal, but Power World just trumped that. Now that Power World's done, and I got a little bit of downtime during Mythical, I want to finish up my business with Lethal. My monitor is flashing repeatedly? That usually doesn't happen with this game. Please stop. Yeah, thank you. Nope. I'm gonna eat my own dick. Slide back on your onion number. Let's get you to 100 on second floor. Appreciate you. Thanks a ton, man. Like, seriously, I appreciate the hell out of you. I just got recommended earlier today by my bro with a song Drone Carrying Dread off the cruller. Being the only one I've gone through fully yet. Been loving what I've heard in the other tracks so far, though. Right on. Have you heard of Poor Man's Poison? Is that a name for, like, a... Is that a band or a phrase? Sorry, my monitor has flashed 40 times in the last minute and a half alone. On. Off. On, off. On, off. On, off. On. Off. I want to die. I'm going to restart my entire PC. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Goodbye, chat.
It's a band that do like post apocalyptic style music. I'd recommend them if you like that type of stuff. Uh, I'm not super huge on the post apocalyptic stuff, but if the music's good, I'll listen to it. I just don't, yeah, don't normally go setting out for that genre in specific, but. I will always appreciate a good music rec. Thank you. I need to add a music channel to the Discord. It was their Halloween show, and it was all fantastic. Oh, in Atlanta. The costumes are great, and had VIP tickets, so met them too. Seemed like amazing people. Dude, that's so fucking sweet. VIP packages where you get to meet the bands and uh, the band and the artists and stuff is, is so cool. I love it. That's awesome. I'm very envious of you. Hell's Coming With Me is one I would recommend, and Feed the Machine, like Green said. Touch on. Why won't someone touch me? Please don't dox me. I see Poor Man's Poison is like a rock take on country with post apocalyptic lyrics. Okay. Okay, I can get behind that. Huh. Chat, how do you fix a PC that is gradually going more and more out of sync with the correct time of day? I just looked at my two clocks on my PCs. A month ago, maybe a few months ago, my gaming PC's time was four minutes behind my streaming PC's one. Now it's six minutes behind. How, how, how does that work? <laughs> how is that, how does that work? How is it gradually getting further and further back? <laughs> what the fuck? CMOS battery could be dying? Oh. Wonderful. <laughs> cool, as long as it's only the battery in my motherboard, then it's no big deal. Yo, Blocky Blast, I'm very much of the Prime. Appreciate you, homie. Well, that's just very kind of you for no damn reason. What the hell? Thank you. Yeah, I can tell my computer's starting to give up because even the Logitech thing that pops up whenever I launch my computer doesn't even show an image of my keyboard anymore. It used to, but now it's just like, here's your G815. You want to know what it looks like? Sorry, buddy, not anymore. Okay, hopefully that fixed it. Hey chat, if you guys ever uh, uh, decide to launch a company for peripherals and or w are hired for one and have the chance to design their software, my favorite thing is when my mouse program launches in full screen. No one who designed this has ever spoken to a woman. so great. Oh, it's my favorite thing. I love it. Welcome to your first day you know what's the cool thing that I learned about recently? This is your very own autopilot ship, where you will eat and sleep for the duration of your contract. John, I need, to, I need you to give me a second. I have to focus on the company. Make yourself at home. So I drive a BMW Z4. I've had that for like, nearly 10 years at this point. Dude, I didn't know it until recently, but apparently the Z4 body was the first BMW that was designed entirely by a woman. It's only a minute left of it, but uh, happy International Women's Day, everybody. Fuck yeah. Doing my part. Going to ass. 
get me some ass. I need to change my scenes and everything, but I'll do it after this round. Razor Fox in 2024, so brave for real. This mouse has me in a chokehold. I have tried so many other mice from different companies, but I cannot find a single one that feels as good as this mouse does. And I hate it because I don't want to be using a Razer product because I've had to buy like seven of these mice because they last for like a year before something fucking breaks in them. The scroll wheel on this has a very terrible, it, it sucks, it's shit, it's broken. But I still use it because, I, and I'm still probably going to buy another one of the same goddamn one because it's just a fucking repeating purchase at this point because it's just so good. It feels so good in my hand and I hate it. Which one is it? Uh, Razer Death Adder V2X Hyperspeed. It's a little bit on the heavier side, but it's large enough to fit my palm. And I like it too because it has these two little buttons next to the uh, big click. No, oh, yeah, yearly mouse subscription for real. Saturday, March 9th, 2024. I went to the Super Light, got big hands, and it's been pretty solid. Switched from HyperX. Yeah, I still kind of need a mouse that's got a few extra buttons on it, though. Doesn't the Super Light only have... What the fuck? Are you serious? Doesn't the Super Light just have, uh... The two side mouse buttons? So, do not do this to me of all things. I do not think so. Is that a hive? What an incredible ass. Sorry about you being sick, Julia. I hope you feel better. There's two hives! Oh, that one's in the thing. I'm not going to be able to get that one. Yeah, I can't grab that one. <laughs> oh, thanks. I tried the G502. Um, it's It was too small for me still. Also, I hate mice that... How do I describe it? The click, the, the mouse... I call these paddles once and people got really mad at me. The mouse buttons... Don't go all the way to the edges. So with the 502, I'm sure some of y'all have it. Like, the edges of the mouse buttons, you can't click them. They're not part of the button. They're just hard plastic right there. So you can't click the edge of the button. I don't like the feel of that. Because I, I butterfly click sometimes, so I usually, you know, layer two finger on one, right? And the other one kind of just hangs off the side, but you can't do that on those. 114. Oh my. Two years plus all the YouTube years hydration nation forever. Remember your waters. You're appreciate it, big Bob. This is gonna be a little tricky. 
Damn, SMC mod pack is crazy. Uh, I'm going offline for a year. Ooh. How do I do this? Nope. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, I'm good. Oh. Okay. How do I... This is really awkward. It's not that awkward. Should have done further away. Oh my god, I closed the door and I opened it again. Fuck. Oh. Wait. Oh. Um. Yeah. Don't even sweat it. 126? Oh, God. <laughs> 435. That could have been a 490 as well, too, if I would have brought back those bottles. 435 ass. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's Eclipse. That's actually one of the first times that I've seen Assurance Eclipsed on the uh, first quota. Damn. Not even close, never close for a doubt. Lethal company. They changed that with the newest one, but yeah, I get the smaller size. It's smaller than Razor mice, but I've spent so much money on Razor mice that I've given up. Okay, I guess I'll go fuck myself then. Category is Minecraft. Y'all gotta s Shut up! been here in a minute. Yeah, that would have been a Valorant angle. That would have been, that would have been a Valorant angle.
can see through your soul chat. Damn experimentation. Shit, okay. Oh, okay, it's all you went beautifully. Double keys, one for the plug and one for the hose. Ah, oh, shit. Little fire escape angle. Zero locker stair. Sometimes the Bracken is a scared little guy. That one wanted to get my ass. I ain't gonna let him. That guy's gonna be. Uh, he was gonna maybe see God. It happened, I'm leaving. I don't know where I can fall down here and not be fucked. But now I need to make a decision. I think this is good. Oh god. <laughs> you know what? It, it, it's fine. Oh, do you hear my man? You deserve nothing but the best for real? Okay, that's... Maybe the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me in my life. Why do you come around saying nice things like that? You got a lizard friend? Oh shit, what's its name? <laughs> Never mind. What? What the f- Someone's trying to seduce me tonight, I guess. And I don't care how blunt they are about it. Oh shit.
Wait, are you serious? Wait. Dude. This is like 300 at a minimum by 930. How am I going up here? I'm out. Are you kidding? I started watching, and what does the title mean? I, I think it's pretty up front. What would you like it to mean? Nothing but truth for real. You got some great vibes. I gotta ask what happened with Power World. She seemed to die for two weeks. Sad, but happens. Uh, yeah, I mean, it died around the same life expectancy that I kind of hoped it would have. I was praying for two weeks of good content. It gave two weeks of good content. I can't be upset about that. But uh, no, Pal World was just kind of hollow at the moment because there's nothing end game to really grind for. I was stoked as hell to get into late game on it. And I spent a long ass time getting two level five Anubis up in the base and I got it. I must have hatched like 130 of those motherfuckers. Got perfect stats, perfect attributes. And then I threw him in the base, and I was like, oh. Okay, so they can craft really fast. But what do I make them craft? I don't really want to go out and do anything. There's not really anything else to do. Like, what am I going to do? Go get a Jetragon, and then try and get, like, a swift, nimble Jetragon? Like, I kind of already did the whole breeding thing once. I don't really want to do it again. So, just kind of, I don't know. There wasn't really a point to grinding much out, and doing that whole breeding thing kind of tired me out of the game. I was like, okay. Plus, around the same time, most everybody else on the server stopped playing. So, there wasn't really much collaboration to happen. So, I was like, okay, I'm done with this. Didn't really feel too mournful about it. I gonna say it felt like Grind for Max Pal was in a cool, great game. Went through two worlds doing all that. I mean, most of those games end up bre as breeding simulators at the end of it, right? Which is fine, but you need to have some sort of very large end goal that's relatively difficult to grind for. Kind of like arc maps have. Arc finale maps, especially with Alpha, uh, 331 off that quick. That's insane. Especially with, like, Alpha difficulty. Those are a grind, and they feel satisfying when you actually end up finishing a map off. Power World just kind of needs that for their existing map for it to really feel like much of a satisfactory grind, you know? It's feeling like a second quota Titan. The game was really fun, though. I think if they added shinies, shiny variants of all the pals into the game, that probably could have carried a lot more content for people just trying to grind for shiny collections. Open up, bitch boy. Hey, 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 open up. I remember me telling you, but I never played Ark, but it helped a little on the back end cutting with Pal. Oh yeah, I don't I don't remember you telling me that, but I believe you. I just got so lackluster towards the end game. Wanted more, which I'm sure will come out, but for now I was happy with where it was at. That's fair. I mean, like for for where it released or where they, you know, set out the release date to have content wise for 30 bucks, it's pretty good. Uh
Because, yeah, it takes a pretty good structured game for me to sink in 250 hours over the course of two weeks. But that stuff, that game was ruining any productivity I had outside of it. What's up, Dolphin? Open up. Open up, 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 open the thing. Open up, please, open up. Open up, please. How should I make off this? Is it a nine hundo? Dude. 912 first quota, two ascension, and one experimentation. That is fucking insane. That's dummy stupid. Can't wait for this run to die by a bracken snapping my neck. What a treat. Scene change? Oh, yeah, you're right. 234. Thank you. This is so sad. Oh, man. No second quarter Titan. I, mean, I don't mind going back to assurance, but... Man. At least it's stormy first day, so I didn't spend 700. Facing. Oh my god. Yeah, ass has been crazy. This is kind of ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Almost feels like guaranteed loot room spawns. Oh, <laughs> but there's nothing there. Uh, yeah, I don't... I mean, I could... Hmm. This is kind of risky. But not really. That's fine. I've been rewarded with bottles. What? Scan the bolt. Okay, I'll take it. Whatever. 
whatever I've done to make somebody happy, I uh, appreciate that a lot. How much are you worth? Oh. Jesus Christ. Imagine if Tura faced the other way, the door side. Oh yeah, that's why I always whip it around as fast as I can whenever I enter a fire. What's up, Ladybug? Yo. Off to bed, getting closer to staying up till 6 a.m. again. That's not the move for my sleep. Have a good rest of the stream. Good luck, good luck. Appreciate you. Do I wish I had your discipline? Back on lethal? Oh yeah, it's... I never left. Have a gooch. things are. I'm dropping pills. I swear to God, we could get easily above a thousand quota just playing Ascension and not going to any of the paid moons. If this keeps up, like, look at this. 366. I mean, that's not, like, insane insane, but that's fucking wild, man. Apparently, fucking wild is less than insane insane. According to me. Uh, now, here's the thing. We do have a thousand twenty-three. We could go to Titan... But I feel like early on, it's probably better to just stay on Assurance or the non-paid if we don't have any chance of getting three full days out of it. Because, like, if Titan's clear now, we get a little bit, and then it's Eclipsed, like, we're wasting $700. So we'll stay on Assurance, I think. Uh, Chad, I need to pee. I don't know if anybody needs to go pee as well, too, but, uh, now might be a good time for you to do that. Hey, you, if you're laying in bed right now and you've been holding your pee for like 40 minutes hoping that you could fall asleep and not get past it, believe me, I've been there. It ain't gonna work, Chief. It's cold, but get up. I promise it'll be better for you.
Dude, someone's in love with me. It's not subtle. Uh, yeah, I'm playing on Max Gamma. I've decided to try out the no flashlight, full gamma approach. Not really fucking with any of that. I don't know. None of it looked that good. Do you like it? Uh, honestly, I definitely prefer streaming with a flashlight better because it's just better for visual. And the game feels a little bit more like a horror game. But it's really nice to be able to carry back four things. <laughs> and not have to worry about losing a flashlight for visibility. So it's... Eh. It did trade off. I haven't died yet to running into a hallway with a turret because I couldn't see the turret because of low gamma. I've been- it's been close. But it hasn't happened yet. When that happens, I'll probably feel differently about it. But in the meantime, it's kind of nice not having to play with a flashlight. That's lurking. Really good to see you back, man. The week or so you were gone were dark nights for me. Much appreciated. I got a lot less to do with me than you think. I appreciate you being around. But that's all you. Like I was saying. <laughs> oh. Shit, okay. 51. Three. Guess you're going home with two keys. What's up, really? How's the company training you? I had the company once inside my pants. At least there's something that they're doing that is... The... The moons have been quite nice. Was like a 240, right? Uh, 181. There was 670 inside of there. I felt like there was nothing close. Damn. It would have been two clear days of Titan. Mm. A little sad. Why did it feel like I missed? Oh god, I thought I jumped early. I think I did jump early, but I still survived. So why is my stamina so high? I don't know. 
Oh, so you skin. Oh. Oh. Six. That's forty-four. Oh, fire access right there. I'm so tempted to just leave. <laughs> like, I... Uh, I'm so tempted to just leave. I think I'm going to. Uh, actually... I'd rather take the key. I have two at this point. I'd rather take the key than carry back a 12 quota worth item. Yeah, the key's more valuable, I think. Your highest quota. Uh, I got to 1300 completed. I think it was 1700 that I failed on. I don't remember what quota number that was, though. I think eight. I think 1300 is eight, seven or eight. Let's see. Hmm. Am I kind of killing the run by not going back? We got like 400 or three high three in the first one. Uh, I got a thousand. I have a lot. I should be good to go. I'm fine. I should be okay. Believe on this. Scan. Uh, yeah, maybe could have, yeah. 83? Yeah, it's kind of a negative day, but who cares? Two hundred. I think selling off all this should net me two hundred. Two thirty four. Here was I. Right in the nose. 46. Eh, 12 off. Not bad. It's in uh, 1269. Do I need anything else? Eh. I could, like, sell to get a jetpack. Do I feel like a jetpack's super worth it? I think I need to wait until the jetpack is 30% uh, off right now. Four ninety for the pack. Might wait until further in. I'm kind of playing like if I die, the run is over. J 
Jetpack might be a pitch. I think I can take 30% off and feel pretty confident on that. Yeah, let's do it. Did I just say 489? Did I get scammed? I think I just got scammed. Eyes are no longer able to remain open. If you're on tomorrow, I'm done to finish off the hundreds. Can I get everyone chat? Appreciate you, homie. Get a good slump. Okay, this is kind of the best start to a run that we could possibly ask for. Let's get a clear Titan and uh, start running it up. That's in Gumi in a while. How's she doing? I mean, you could check her Twitch channel where she's currently streaming. It's probably a better place to find her than on here. <laughs> Sixty-five. Titan, please. Go. Oh. I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I need to figure out the flight map for Rend. Or something. I think it's still early enough that I don't have to spend money on going to, like, render dine right now if I don't feel comfortable on it compared to Titan. I could probably still rip Assurance or March at this point. I've got a lot of reserve on the ship. I think... I think I can rip one of those. Chat, if we're trying to, like, maximize quota, so we don't mind spending a good full day there till like, 7 p.m., is it March over Assurance? With the way Assurance has been, I almost feel like it's not. I think it's still Assurance. Keep riding the good asses that we've gotten so far on this run. Yeah, I think we rip it. So all. I was watching the other day. Someone got a jetpack and was using it in Doggy Rend. It Foggy Rend? The larger community map, I forget which one is which. Uh, I think that's uh, Rend. Flew into a giant. Oh, man. Rite of passage happens to everybody. Okay. I think our assurance luck has immediately dried out. Oh, a gift box for me. Never mind. I'm so. This is some bullshit. He's in XL. be a coward boy though I'm gonna go for it can you not jump over the oh you gotta go there and over fuck
Give me a beehive. Give me a beehive right now. Yeah, Ron, never much of the 29. Thank you. Very kind. Thanks for staying stuck for so long. It means a lot. What do you got for me? 417 kills, pretty good. Happy with that. I forget, does going up there benefit you in any way? I can't remember what the route is. Thought I saw a hive. It was only a rock. Not even the rock, just a rock. Actually, it turned out pretty decent because of that robot. Sweet. Pretty sweet. Not a bad... Not a bad assurance. Uh, yeah, if Titan's clear, we're definitely taking a trip over there, even if it's only a potential two days. I know it was stormy and not eclipse, so I probably could have been fine. I just still fucking hate going to stormy after the deaths that I've had there. The robot can be reset and not make the noise. Yeah, sometimes when you drop it, it turns off. think for the first time in a very long time I'm going to vow am I going to vow offense is rainy I don't think I want to spend time getting 50% double-handed items I think I'm going to vow oh my god I have not been back here since I started playing this game again I am not gonna welcome this back in with open arms Fuck Val, I'm a homie, say Val. I better get three beehives at a minimum for how long I've been away from here. I will say it's a nice feeling that I have to wait on that little mound for the flashlight to come in. That's really good. I like that. I don't see any hives. Hiveless Val. What's the point? I think I destroyed the Brecken already. 
I remember why I hate this map so much, is because the Bracken is out at basically the start of the day and kills you half the time you play this. I'm gonna do a very quick run to emergency and then get the fuck out of here because I don't want to play here. I don't want to be here anymore. I'll be leaving. But March is the one with the bridge. March is the one with the giant lake and the three fire exits. You know what? I'd say this is a pretty successful march. Val, God damn. <laughs> hey. Stop doing that to my brain. Not cool. What's up, Kyle Stream? Hi. What's up, Joke? I wasn't expecting to see you here. But oh, I've missed you so. This should be a pretty straightforward, just dump it on the side of here, run around, and then we're good. How much are you worth? 78? Yeah, it's respectable, I'll take it. Actually, did aggro. Damn. I thought I put it far enough away to where it wouldn't do that. I still won't forget the one time that I went to go grab a beehive <laughs> doing that and I got shoved off by a rock and died. <laughs> Bad memories on this map for me seem to be overtaking any good ones I've had. 345 out of 507. That's solid. I know it doesn't account for the beehives outside, but still, that's pretty fucking cool. Jurus is rainy, uh, Bow's foggy, offense, and March is flooded. Yeah, I think it's an offense angle then, right? I don't remember. Offense's way of getting on top of that uh, pipeline is much more complex than assurance. I don't have the muscle memory down for it, and I think it's much riskier to death. You have to, like, mantle along the side of the ship. It's a lot more difficult. I don't want to try it. I could just go back to assurance because it's only rainy. Uh. I'm just going to go back to assurance. It's only rainy. Rain's not that bad. What's up, Lance? Oh, no, my key with me. If the door is locked, I've sealed my fate.
but if that leads anywhere. Smart house. Good moan. Risking my life for a cookie mold pan really shows the mental state I'm in tonight. What's up, JP Canner? Nice to 15 months. Any chance I go back in. Probably not. That guy was hyper aggro. Yeah, no, I don't. Not on third day. Oh, back the way. You know, I never looked up and confirmed that the way that the Bracken, like, will actually start charging at you is that if it stands still, you should look away, and if it's backing away, you stare at it. That's just kind of what I've done, and it's worked out so far, but I don't know if that's actually how it's supposed to work. <laughs> so when the dude was two feet in front of me, and I looked away from him, and he opened the door and left, I was relieved. I was like, oh shit, thank god. What happened to all the viewers you used to have? I fucked too many of their moms and then they never came back. Joke's on them, I'm a part of their family now, so can't really get rid of me.
Heck yeah. Slicer, I'm fucking your dad after that comment, though. Is that 365? 349. Anything worth 16 here? Can you open up? Oh, to Minecraft Monday? This makes a lot of sense now. Hey, help me. Quick, a little bit of advice for you. Close switch that for a bit. I'm sure we have left on the ship. Mm, decent amount. The fact that I haven't gotten any of the paid moons yet is starting to show. I can't really keep getting away with this. Uh, 480 on quota 4. I've taken what was a pretty good fucking first two quotas and have gotten a little greedy on not going to bad condition paid moons. I think that's gonna stay. Okay, can I still afford to go back to assurance? And not just pay for rent at this point? Hello, <sighs> Slicer? Hey, thank you for the tier one, homie. I was forgiven. <laughs> the hell, man. I've never seen someone come in and talk about viewer count and then drop a sub afterward. <laughs> I don't know how to feel, to be honest. Let me run through every emotion in my brain. Direct eye contact with the Bracken may halt its retreat. Staring at a retreating Bracken raises its anger. Staring at a retreating Bracken raises its anger. Really? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid then. Never mind. Sorry. Oh, you're good, man. Just usually... Yeah, I know how it is. How's your mental health going so far? I mean, I think I got a head on my shoulders, so... Pretty good. I'm thinking about playing Val later tonight, so we'll see how that handles. For your troubles. Thanks, dude. <laughs> That's extremely kind of you. I appreciate the five gifted. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? They said 11. Hey, chat, if you're lurking, take a little peek over the uh, Twitch chat and see if you got gifted a sub. And if you did, drop a thank you. Appreciate you a lot. What's up, Logie? How you doing? I don't know what to do. I don't want to go to Rend. Huh? Dude. Okay, man. Now the question, a question, question that I have for you is: Are you a pimp for real, or is that just the persona that you're throwing on? Thanks to the fifteen gifted and the tier one for yourself, homie. Jesus Christ. God damn. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Sorry. The reason why I'm laughing so much, I'm like a little bit thrown off. Usually when people come in and the first thing they talk about is like, where did your viewer count go? 
this I don't think it's ever led to this being the response. So th that's where the, the laughter is coming from. I appreciate the fuck out of you. That's generous regardless of your, your angle. Thank you, seriously. <laughs> you got another gifted sub, but it's for Apple? What's that mean? Yo, yeah, lady, thanks for the gift of your stuff. What the hell? Thank you. Trying to launder the money? What money? Unless we watch your YouTube? Ah, I gotcha, gotcha. I put out a video for you sometime this year, alright, I promise. Actually, you know what? Make that too. Guaranteed. I don't want to go to Ren. How much is Ren? Is it 500? It's 5.50. This is day three. Chad, do we go to Rend? I think I have to. I think I have to. I got the next level of my runs recently, like extension ladder on Eclipse dying while killing thumpers and spiders next level. I'm just trying to bust a nutcracker open. And get a shotgun. That's so someone that I still haven't done. Alright, I can't be scared of Rend if I'm gonna be getting this kind of gift of subs being dropped down. I gotta put up put on performance for this guy. I don't know the jetpack to rend. I'm gonna look up the map. Hold on. <laughs> Lethal company rend. So this is the map. Ship and main, and then fire exit is over here. Thank you, Slicer. That's a lot of fucking money. I appreciate you. Logie, thanks as well for the gifted sub. You're both the homies. It's only a little bit of a competition. This is the map that guy flew into a giant? Don't say that out loud. Is the angle ever flying to fire? No way in hell I'm gonna remember how the hell to get back and not. Cause over the mountain, I mean maybe, right? Right, those two mountain things. Be the first streamer to ever say my name correct. Logie, I fear the bar may be subterranean. Chat, do we jetpack to main or do we jetpack to fire? Your call. I'll go where you tell me. I am your puppet for the evening. Main, fire. Go somewhere. Alright, we need a tiebreaker. Go to the cassette. <laughs> you know, actually, you might be onto something. All right, we're going fire. My vertical is way too high right now. <laughs> I think it's so much vertical. What the fuck? We'll use the jetpack to get back home. <laughs> the 
Can you just like slide down this and not fall and kill yourself? Uh, is it down there? I think it is, right? Where the fuck am I? This is fire? lost. What the fuck is that? so fucking much. Shit.
dude, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I I can. I think I'm gonna fucking die if I. Ah, I have bigger balls than this, dude. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have bigger balls than this. Oh, the jetpack's not holding a charge. Oh yeah, no, never mind. Now we're leaving. Wait, hold on. I haven't used the jetpack this much on a map before. If you recharge it too much, does it not hold a charge anymore? What the fuck's wrong with my jetpack now? Is this a permanent thing? Did I fuck up my jetpack? Oh, did I break it by like holding the thrust too much? That was only a 358 day. Oh man. What did I do to the jetpack? Is it just fucked now? It don't look good anymore. Oh yeah, it's not able to hold charge. I throw it right in. Uh, it's not going down anymore. Is it only after? Would have been more had you been able to get the rest of the loot. Well, I mean, yeah. Weather stormy. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, stormy rend. Uh, the jetpack isn't. Is the jetpack, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Conductive? If you're wearing it on your back on a stormy day, can it strike you like while you're fucking flying around like Superman? Maybe glitch? No, I think the stuff's intentional. I just don't exactly know the parameters around what makes it work and what makes it not. Most likely. I'm going to check. I want to make sure. I think so. Uh, where's the, would it be under weather? Hmm. What's the page for finding what's conductive? Oh, conductive items category. Uh, jetpack is in there. Is it conductive? Yeah, I think it's conductive. Basically, treat every object is conducted because then I actually can drop everything. I actually do drop anything. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, only downside is I left my shovel behind, which means I can't kill a nutcracker if I find one. I think I'm gonna rock a stormy run though. Yeah. Leaving would be way too much money lost this late into a quota. This late into a run. It's still not like late late. Oh, keys are conductive. I'm not gonna bring this with me. I'm gonna not die. Lord knows, he would tell me if I sinned by striking me with a random bolt once again. Okay. 
cool bottom floor. That was great. Just me and my eight ball against the world, I guess. I wish I had my shovel. I wish I had my shovel with me. Damn it. Don't do that here.
Okay, no, that, that, that was a sign from God. I don't think I'm going. <laughs> Your other game just tell you directly, uh, don't fucking do that. I lost the thing of bottles and the toothpaste. Both conductive, so would have been a pain in the ass to get back. That was a slow fucking return. The amount of times that the lightning needed to strike my shit and how heavy it was. Oh lord. I wish I would have actually placed- wait, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? It was somewhere. Somewhere here. There's somewhere- ah! Ah! Yeah, there we go. Oops. We're good. I think we're good. Is the best conducting this game? Yep. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's conductive. I didn't know that whoopee cushions in real life apparently have some sort of metal inside of them that does something. I don't know what it does, but it does something. And for that reason, whoopee cushions are conductive in this game. Everything's conductive! Wow, you just got right up in my face, huh? If we just stay real quiet. I think I can go back in now.
I can go fire. I'm not going fire at 213 with a nutcracker in it. I'm zero profit day, but zero loss day. Except my time. This is why we have reserve. Hey, you know what? Hey, we spent 550 going to rend, and uh, honestly, we learned a lot. We learned a lot about ourselves. We learned a lot about each other. Chat, everybody, group hug above the waist. Tier 2 and Tier 3 subs are permitted to do below the waist. Hello, company. We have business to go to. Does the game have end? The game ends when you die. Or when you fail to meet quota. I think there's a theoretical limit, like something like 59,000 quota. But I'm not sure. Okay, we gotta keep the register, right? What's up, Lucky? He starts just walking with you and then winds up. I think all players have to be outside for at least 30 seconds before he unaggros. I I thought I remember hearing something about if he pops and you leave like as he's actually pops, you only need to be outside for five seconds. I think that's true. This is 120, right? After he pops and there's no living player inside a facility, he will reset in about 5-10 seconds. Yeah, okay, there you go. He might still be in the same exit, start wanting again. Yeah, I think it's like the second that he sees you, you have exactly a minute before he pops. Oh, I oversold a little bit. How'd I oversell so much? Oh, jeez. Okay, it's not, a, it's not a big of a deal. What do we got? Level 21. Wow, I didn't even- I wasn't even checking, but Twitch just naturally ran an ad on the hour interval during this section. That's pretty perfect if you- if you ask for my opinion. Six eighty four. Hey, yo, chat. It's a food break for me. I'm gonna go grab a Sammy from my fridge. And I will be, uh, I'll be back in a moment, okay? Don't go anywhere, and if you do go somewhere, then I hope you, uh, hope you're going to a good place. And I hope there's, like, sandwiches there, too. I'll be right back.
Actually, chat, I have a very important question. Do I go for the the turkey BLT or do I go for the tuna? They're both getting eaten, but one of them's gonna be now. Tuna? 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 Turkey, turkey, tuna, turkey. I think it's like a 5-3. 4-3? 4-3? Turkey, tuna, tuna? I think tuna. Beef? I'll give you some beef. Hey, we're going tuna. I brought something back for you. We do love the company. Big fan of the company here. wrong you haven't heard the news
It's looking like our first time running the entire run. Sweet. There's no that way that was an accurate first scan. Alright, so we got like 550 on the ship. And we got 421 on the reserve. It's- I think it's decent. I think it's decent. It's not bad so far. Not the breast, not the worst. Oh, later, sheeps. Break their ankles. Best of luck to you. I can't understand why people like to eat fish. Gorgeous, have you tried fish? Because that sounds to me like somebody who has only ever had fish that tasted fishy. I'll tell you why I like to eat fish, because it tastes goddamn good. It tastes really good. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Basically the whole ocean. Love the ocean. Big ocean fan. Gross? What's so gross about it? I can't eat tuna, but most of the fish is lovely. Tuna is, uh, outside of, like, sandwich form, I don't really like ahi tuna all too much. In some applications, it's fine, but it's probably my least favorite raw form of fish. A little too spongy for my taste. Taste bad and smell bad? Oh, yeah, I knew it. No, you're eating the wrong kind of fish then. Good fish should not smell like anything. Bad fish will smell like fish, and that ain't a good feeling. That ain't a good smell. You have a texture issue? Texture is fucky with fish, that's fair. If textures throw you off, fish can be difficult, but... Oh wait, shit, I forgot about the register on top. <laughs> okay. Oh, now it's scanned, okay. We've got like 650 or something around there. Yeah, Rex Arena, wasn't that, uh... Rain and a few others? Alright, who, who did I see running squads? Rain and Emerald and... Who are the people I'm not familiar with? I don't remember the names. The only thing I ate from the ocean is literally just crab and shrimp. See, like, right there? Those are some good fucking staples. I respect that. You ever had lobster?
And if you like shrimp, have you ever had shrimp ceviche before? With like some pico de gallo. A little avocado in there. Scoop that up on a tortilla chip. Mmm. There are a few things in the world better. Now you know what I'm planning to? Report back when you do. Very curious to hear what you think about it. I had ceviche for the first time at a restaurant in Vegas. One of the hotel restaurants. God, that was to die for. And it's not an unpopular opinion, just one that I'm very late to the club on. Did not know the ways of ceviche until the age of 26. I regret. I have deep regrets. Actually, 25. Yeah, 25. Way too long to go without having it. Not what I meant to. Is there anything for sale that I should have grabbed? That I could have grabbed? No, not really. How long is your kitchen there was? It's pretty long. I can show you a photo, but you gotta promise to keep any opinions you have to yourself. It's a little too late into the night for me to be hearing what might be going through your brain when you see one of those pics. Just being honest. Oh, shrimp burritos are great. Yeah, there's not many things that I can throw shrimp into that doesn't make it delicious shrimp in a poke bowl fantastic shrimp in some pasta de delectable shrimp in a burrito I, phenomenal exquisite and wonderful and, and absolutely awe-inspiring just beautiful it, it is a universal fish crustacean i wish i could become one So, okay. Do we need the extension ladder if we're using a jetpack on Titan? Like, if we're using the jetpack to transport to and from, we don't re like, do we really need the extension ladder for anything? I don't think so. I can say lobster and shrimp, but ignore crab and scallop, though. I mean, they're all good in their own applications. They're all f absolutely fantastic. Shrimp is the fish chicken, only with better texture. Mmm. True. Jetpack faster than a ladder? Uh, I mean, it's safer. It's definitely faster, for sure. Definitely faster. I think, yeah, I don't think we need the ladder. <laughs> what the fuck? I think we're just good rocking, rocking the uh, shovel in the jetpack, I'm pretty sure. Not tried scallops? Scallops are like, uh, how would I describe them? You say you have a texture issue. Scallops are soft. You know, crab and, and lobster have a little bit of a bounce back. They're a bit tender. Scallops are, are very soft. Sometimes if they're really good, they're kind of almost melt in your mouth. Kind of glide through your teeth like a really good Wagyu. Um, Taste-wise, yeah, similar family, I feel like, to more lobster than crab, I'd say. Because, like, lobster and scallops go together really well. 
I don't think they're as rich. Maybe depending on what they're cooked in. But yeah, they're definitely softer for sure. They're very nice. They're pretty good. I still can't believe how much I love um, oysters and scallops and mussels. I had never had those until late last year, and I tried all three of them, and every single one of them I absolutely enjoyed the hell out of with so many different like toppings and add-ons add that you could throw on there. And those things, you want to talk about gross fish, I hated the way those looked. I was like, I will never, I will never willingly eat a mussel or a, a clam. I'll, I'll never do it. They, they look gross or an oyster. You got to slurp all that up. It looks disgusting. God, it tasted incredible, dude. Oh my God. I got to go back and get some of those. Anyway. Sorry, I'm like half done with my sandwich. I haven't eaten my cookie yet, so I'm still hungry. Oh, I'm way too high up. Oh, oh God. Oh, this was so bad. Oh. First try. Unfortunately, way too early of a fire exit to find. Wow, this Titan Seed sucks. That's really tragic. Oh my god.
coming out for me. I want him to get closer to the exit. Damn it. So I'm not very good at the whole jetpack thing on here. <laughs> uh, definitely a little out of practice. Why are you so happy, man? What are you happy about? Here to share? That seed sucked ass. That was terrible. 240. I fail to believe that that was entirely my fault. That seed felt like it was not great at all. Fire exit right there. Right side didn't have anything. Left side was a fire exit with barely any loot. I I don't know about that one. That felt not ideal. Uh, are we good here? Titan is foggy. I can deal with foggy, I think, as long as I actually land the same properly. <clears throat> now, how did I fix this before? It wasn't holding a charge last time. And when I got done with the moon and put it on the charger, it was fine. I've done the same and it's still not keeping a charge. How long does this last for? Someone said it was a bug. Someone like copy and pasted a quote that there was a bug involved with it. Can you tee up enter if that was you? Because I did not read that message and I feel terrible about it, but. Morning blue room, going pretty good, how about you? Yeah, I don't know what to do about this guy. I'm gonna look it up. Company jetpack losing charge. Not bad, can't complain. That's about as good as it can get. There's an issue with various pieces of equipment. The game thinks it's on and being used when it's not, thus draining power. I regularly have that with the flashlight. Sometimes it turns on by itself. Sometimes the game thinks it's on and drains power when no light happens. I click once, turn it off. Oh, do I have to use it again? Mm. Mm, that didn't fix it. Mm. Don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Titan's clear. I'm gonna elect to uh, take my shovel and this. Um, I mean, I can at least take the jetpack to go up. Save a little bit of time that way. Hopefully not die on my descent.
Oh boy. So full scan. I don't think there's a single fucking way that I can go. <laughs> I don't think, I literally do not think I can go on any of the, those directions. There's a turret everywhere. God, you know what? The 103 perfumes kind of pog at least. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, wow. Okay, so fire exit led to the bottom of a staircase that we already passed with a turret right in front of it. Two different directions had a turret. The one direction that I could go that wasn't blocked off immediately by a turret had a turret down the only other way that I hadn't looted. I'll take that 300 respectfully. Thank you. Titan's clear. All right, at least we get three, three, three days on this. That's good. That's good at least. Give me my shovel, please. Shovel, jetpack, and such. Ever had cow tongue? Yes. I, I didn't really, uh, uh, I didn't like it too much. That's nice. How'd you have it? Um, 
I don't remember. I am so fucking lucky that that guy did not just push me off. Oh, get me out, get me out. Get me out, I would like to leave now. I will be leaving from this place. Thank you very much. Well, I made the decision of whether I want to go back inside. Very easy to uh, decide. I'm good, thank you for that. What was that? That was a mimic. There was danger on the outside and danger on the inside. 428's not bad. It's not insane, but it's not bad. Where's the whoopee? Come here, buddy. I got a bone to pick with your ass. That's the company. Oh, brother. Me the first time Jack in the Box was to your death? Exactly. That's why I was fucking scared. Best food I've ever had is a super chuco from Gonzo's. I don't know what food that is and what place that is. Where are you from? Help me understand some of these delicacies you talk about.
Alright, so I'm gonna run a three minute ad. We're actually kinda getting a little bit deep into a run, which is nice. I'm gonna run ad just so it doesn't run during the runs. I'll be back in a sec. Live in Iowa, it's in Davenport? Ah, I got you, got you. What is a uh, Chuko? Could you describe it to me? Please, thank you. I talked a lot after that thing was open. Uh, could have killed me. You know, I I'm gonna throw this out into the air because I know that if I do, nothing bad will ever happen. But I've yet to have a lethal company solo run die to that dude pulling me in with a tentacle. That has not happened yet. Three above quota. Sweet. Are we good to go, yeah? Send her down. It's like a giant burrito. It's covered in cheese. It's got cream cheese in it. It's got a mini salad on the side. That sounds wild. I personally don't really understand. Not that I don't understand it. I get it. But I don't really like the usage of cream cheese in so many different applications. Something about sushi over here is that people love to overuse cream cheese on like half of the specialty rolls that I see. I don't fuck with it. I don't like it. There's a place that offers like 45 different rolls, and I think at least 18 of them have cream cheese as a base. And I I don't order any of them. I don't want cream cheese with my sushi. That just does not sound good. Now, cream cheese on a bagel with like some lox, that sounds pretty fucking good. Right? Cream cheese and bagels, easily. I could eat three of them a day. Four, six, nine, seven, three. Oh, I think we're going back to Rend. I know dying is quick with the ladder, but I feel like I'm way too scared of dying without having a flashlight. Is the eclipse thing? Eclipse means on the outside, the power level is capped immediately. So there could be three dogs and two giants and a worm just already out there the second that you land. And on the inside, uh, any amount, or I think like the, the maximum amount of mobs in there can spawn. It's not that they do, but it's that they're able to instead of it being a gradual curve. So on the outside, it's all instant. They're already out there. On the inside, they can, but really just increases the frequency. On Titan, it's a death trap. You could end up getting a giant, like, right underneath your feet of the ship, and a dog on top of the ladder right in front of the exit, or right in front of the entrance. Titan is ours, map, yeah. The most difficult moon. Guys, are we running back a uh, fire exit? If 
Fire Axe was pretty solid, right? I mean, it was kind of scary, I'll be honest, but I, it was pretty okay, I think, no? A lot of jetpack usage, but if we're able to get in and get out pretty quickly, like, we kind of know our limits this time around. I think it's a jetpack angle on a fire exit. I'm gonna finish my sandwich and then we roll. Second favorite food is meatloaf. My third favorite is crab rangoon. Meatloaf as a second favorite is pretty insane. Not in a yuck or yum kind of way, just I don't usually hear people throw meatloaf up that high. Really dig those tunes? Hell yeah. It's a lot of Sean and some others. I'll throw a link over to the playlist if you want to take a look at it. This was called Math Rock. Uh, there's... Yeah. Yeah. Math Rock, uh, Swan Core. If you want to dive down that little rabbit hole. Would you recommend Orange Chicken? Chinese restaurant near me makes it and I want to try. It's hard to make orange chicken that tastes good. It's fine. It just tastes really sugary because it's just a giant, really thick glaze on some chicken that oftentimes does not have a lot of chicken is mostly just breading and glaze. It's not one of my favorites. Lemon chicken is better. Lemon chicken is usually better because you actually have chicken. It's a lot less of a... There's no glaze typically, right? A lot more chicken than that, which is nice. Sweet type of dish I see? Yeah, I, I don't like it much. It's not very hearty and just kind of feels like you're eating sugar. Y'all sleep on an Indian curry? Oh, I'm wide awake for that one. Love myself a good curry.
murdering the uh, pizza, right, Spark? Uh -huh. Right? All right, ask for forgiveness. The food has been devoured. It is time to grind. No more long interruptions. My apologies. Tonight we dine on Ren. Uh, 973. Let's run it. Already good. Everything's charged. Oh boy. Big ass rock. Wonderful. So you really don't need to go up that high with this.
How do you fly back home with a fucking double-handed item? Can you not? Am I dense? Closer to the ground than I was, but I wasn't. I wanted to take the items out and grab the shovel and fight the Nutcracker because if I could have gotten him into the room that I was in, I think I would have actually had a pretty decent chance to be able to kill him. And then the coil showed up and that kind of halted my plans. That was 239. Holy shit, this is not working out. <sighs> We can definitely do three trips easily on the jetpack if I'm able to get in and get stuff and leave. The two-handed, uh, we okay, so we can't bring anything back that's two-handed, which means fancy lamps are kind of out of the equation, which in a way is kind of good because fancy lamps get me lost. I was lost like shit because of that thing. I did not, not a fan of it. Rent is good, so we're fine. We're looking good. For now, things are, things are okay. Flying was alright. Just keep it rocking. We're gonna need more than 260 on a run to start hitting these 1k quotas though.
<laughs> uh, I am incredibly happy I'm even alive right now. <laughs> What do you do about a zombie in that tight little corridor down there? How do you kill him? That feels like a death trap, no? Where the fuck is the ship? Where's 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 the scan on the ship? Where the Are you fucking serious? There's no way I just died to that clownery. That is the most embarrassing thing I think I've ever streamed in my life. I am the worst player at this game. Are you kidding? I let that kill me? I let, I let that kill me. I lost where the ship was and didn't drop the jetpack. I mean, I shouldn't have dropped the jetpack, but like... No, that's not a VOD ender, that's a channel ender. I'm standing on top of business and I don't deserve to be. Oh, that's so painful. I genuinely didn't think that that guy was going to be able to come around. That's why I wasn't really too concerned about it. I was thinking just fly. I didn't know where I was flying to. I should have flown further. That's the thing. That was embarrassing from the get go. The whole like damage that I took because I couldn't figure out where I was going on the first flight back. Made it so I didn't fly back because I was scared I was going to take more damage. I was a pussy that whole round. Giant coward boy. Oh. That sucks to die to because that's just me being afraid the entire run. I'm not really... <sighs> Ailey, could you be a little bit less happy explaining that? Thank you. Um... I don't really know if I'm fucking with Rend Fire Escape. I mean, it's probably fine. I don't know. I feel like before I go to Rend Fire Escape, I need a gun. So like, you can't go there until you've killed the Mimic, because otherwise, how the hell am I going to kill... Or not the Mimic, the Nutcracker. Because it took until that guy came out to realize a shovel ain't going to do shit for me. Like, at all. Damn it. Okay, I didn't want to learn a lesson tonight, but once again, it feels like on a lethal death, we are learning a lesson. Now, here's the pitch. How do, the hell do we get 973 on a single quota? <laughs> I'm stuck on Rend, and I don't have enough to go to Titan. It's clear. <laughs> I don't think there's any world where I can bring back a thousand on Rend without any material. Do I even entertain the idea? Because the thing is, if I'm able to do it, the run is completely alive and fine. But I, I just don't think it's possible. But we're gonna do it, because why not? I don't know. I don't value my time, apparently. Man, I lost my cash register. 
There's just no point. Need to learn the hiking path as well on the left side there. down. 900 to go. Empty kitchen, CGs. Some kind of sick fucking joke. today about to pull off the craziest quote I've ever seen in your life and that's how I'm gonna be today and I need to make uh, $700. Cracker, if you can hear me, I want you to drive your knee right through my scrotum.
What an honor. <laughs> the way I just dropped down right in front of him, I'd like to believe that I scared him a little bit. Welcome to your first day on the job. This is your very own autopilot ship, where you will be sleeping for the duration of your contract. Consider not deleting the VOD for the reason of we did a lot of new shit on that one involving a jetpack, which felt kind of cool. That's about all I can say for the run, though. The rest of it was... It was a really good start. The first three quotas, all through ass. Best asses I've seen in my entire life. Barring, like, a couple. I don't care what happens to me, I'm not bringing out a tattered metal sheet. I have morals. see this. Mm, it is worth 20. There's been some hot cross buns though, I'll tell you what. Not much good to say on this moon so far. Yeah, it's alright. It's okay. still going to believe there's nothing back there. Holy keys. Chat, hear me out. What if the game had a mechanic where if you get four keys in your inventory, it makes a cock? Thoughts? Gotta get some stuff done. Catch you later. Later, Smokey. Thanks for coming through, I always appreciate it. You're welcome back anytime. Except when I don't want you here, but there's not it's not, it's not very often. I am so deep. Am I making it back home with just this? There's no way, right? What time is it? It's Oh my god, it's 17 p.m. It's like half my day gone. Thinking, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Anything but a tatter mill sheet. That's actually incredible. I uh, can't leave off this.
I haven't seen you in a long time. Never mind. Now I've seen too many of you. I'm going home. <laughs> For one, I didn't. I didn't even know there were gonna be two. Hello, Sparkle. Or Spark. I don't know why. I'd... Oh, I think I, I, I think I was reading your name as Spirit Shackled wrote something and it just fucked my brain. <laughs> Hello, Spark. Have a good one. I'll have something cool happens, otherwise I'm gonna need sleep. Okay, I'll make sure to holler directly at you so that you wake up. Start my day having to take a detour to work because my way was blocked by a swarm of bugs. I walked when you say bugs, what kind of bugs are we talking here? That'd be the first time in a while that I've not made quota off the first moon. At least have a half chub right now. Insurance used to be really good. Remember when we used to have something special? I miss those days. I've grown attachment to the old assurance, of which I know is no longer there. large storm and they were loud motherfuckers. It was the first time that's ever happened to me and I was not about to risk going through them. I would have ran so fast away from them. I was thinking about the bugs. I like the, the half cutoff on the scrotum request. That's a good way to start off a clip. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to your first day on the job. This is your film of the pilot ship, where you will eat and sleep for the duration. It's 
outside where Ford is pretty decent. This main? Not at all. Lockers? Good enough. Fucking through here. Oh, I want the exact way back that I found this place in. That's my bed. Sure, that didn't just like appear out of nowhere. Going on. Still think the key is more valuable than the mission. Oh, it does. Yeah. If I don't play like a balls of steel right now, after the way I died in the last run, this game's never gonna give me the respect that I need. That was the most embarrassing death in my entire life. I got a jetpack on. A, a thing that allows me to fly. And I am on the largest map of the whole entire game. And I got a little dude less than my height in front of me. And I let him snap my neck. It, There are no worse ways to go out. None. None exist. Absolutely horrible day. I wonder what I'm doing differently with my movement for sometimes when I do this. I have plenty of stamina to just run the entire way. But most of the time I don't. I don't know what's up with that. It's kind of weird. And that's why we prio the key over the whoopee. Every time. 
I was waiting for one of those to be locked. Comedy's a rare spawn on this moon, no? I feel like I don't really ever see comedy and tragedy on this moon. Looks like those are mostly exclusive to the uh, paid moons, but maybe not. Just regular. No speedrun. Just quota uh, PB beaten. as hell into this thing with absolutely no way to find out how to get out of here if I can beeline back to the exit I might be a god I doubt that'll happen but we'll try that was the, the drop down guy I don't think that was a yippee it was definitely not a yippee I know my yippies that was not a yippee line did not work. I think it was here and up. No? Is it up and through? Or just the way I just came from and I forgot. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm a little lost. Oh, I thought that was a different room. That's why I didn't go there. It looked like the ladder room. Never mind. Visuals had me fucked up a little bit. Oh, no. Not. Should be able to. No, 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 don't. Why would I do that? That was the one thing I needed to make sure I didn't do. Ah, shit. Uh, how do I get back up from? I guess I can just do the ladder when I come back around. For some reason, I think it's the way that uh I learned how to jump off the ship to get up here. My brain forgets this ladder exists. So, like, as soon as I fall down from there, there's just no way to get back up. That is the other map. That's offense. Not this one.
I wish the music played a little bit more frequently. I like the ambiance that it gives off. I just feel like I never hear it. Oh my god. That might be the most expensive present I've ever opened up, not on Titan. I've never even seen bottles that are worth anything above 60. Alright, hey, drinks on me. Who's cracking open a cold one? I got plenty. I'll share it around. I don't mind. 308, I'll take it. Good God. Weather rainy. Stan. Oh! Sometimes when I take damage, I get all my stamina back. I wonder what constitute that, constitutes that happening. Because I know that... Oh. I know that if you get hit by, like, a... Crawler... You end up getting stamina back on basically every hit but I don't know why it does it on fall damage sometimes, but other times it doesn't. It's a little weird. Is there a puddle? I don't think so. It's weird that you can't look straight down in this game. Morning, Corky. How you been? Anything new and exciting going on with you or the little titans?
much. 74. Not a lot, but that might end up being the difference between a Titan start and a non-Titan start. Hey, Karen. That ends even great. They're growing too fast. How are you? Also growing too fast. Interesting. Whoa, why are you still on me? What the fuck? What? Are you see yeah, from what distance? I have taken back hundreds of beehives. I might as well manufacture the things. What on earth kind of distance is that? Attached? I don't want to hear it. Oh my god. I probably woke up spark with that yelling. I feel like a terrible person. What's up, Slyloo? Ever much the red. Appreciate you. Um, I was just restarting my run so that your viewers could watch uh, a run from the start because I wouldn't have wanted them to miss out on the first uh, run of the the first run of the run. Welcome in. Now that we're, you're here, we can start the. We can have some fun. Good timing. Welcome to your first day on the job. This is your very own autopilot ship. Give me a second. Where you will need to continue for the duration of your contract. I seriously wonder why that wasn't far enough, though. I dropped it all the way in the back of the ship, and I think I... Like, nearly jumped off the ship. Well, I didn't jump off the ship, but, like, I was... I, I was pretty far away from the damn thing. What's up, bitch boy? These can't see their hide from that corner after it lost the aggro. Oh. That makes sense. I don't like that that made sense, but it does. You know, I don't think there was a need for me to pull the appy that early. I just grief myself a little bit. I'm streaming Fast Phobia and Rocket League. Sorry to raid and run. Have to post stream stuff so I need to deal with. I'll leave a lurk though. Appreciate you. For what's worth, half time I raid, I don't even hop in the stream because I'm pretty much getting off the computer immediately. So you're doing a lot more than you think. Oh, 
possible for me to make it over this with the amount of weight that I got on me? Eh, probably. Oh shit. Mm, right there should be okay. Oh, that's it. Uh, okay. I forgot you can't scan anything when you drop it down here. Probably should have left the yield sign just so I don't have to carry this damn thing around. Worth it. Go back to main. Mm. Probably not. That's not a non amount of money. It's not a lot, but. Hey, I haven't seen one of you in a while! Damn, I've missed you! Little pieces of garbage. Love those things. Kinda hate them though. Weather is still raining. spawn oh, these items are terrible extremely low value any doors down there I think this whole room might just be a giant dead end except for down here though Turns out this is a dead end too. keep wanting to say ascension for some reason. I don't know why. My brain keeps going back to Black Ops 1 zombies. Not a bad memory to fall back on, but it's just not anything close to what this moon is called. Um, I think... I think I screw myself over if I do that. Good. 
Oh shit, hey bud. How did I dodge you the first time? Did I end up dodging you? Oh, Joe Job. Just watching you back since Crazy Graph days. Been that long? Well, for what it's worth, I miss you being here. What do you think about that? Oh, shit, it's a BI. Boat is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. That was the one that I saw, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. What do you expect me to do with this? Okay, I think I know how to... Oh, Jesus, do I? this jump kind of uh, it's not easy though fine and then I wasn't and then I was fine again and then I wasn't I don't know I don't know I don't know but we're not having two hive deaths in a row how much are you worth we'll experiment 115 I'll take it I will not complain about that. Was that like a 380? 404? Holy shit. Damn. 
That's pretty good. What's the mod code? We're sipping straight vanilla, man. Lips. Diver cast. Oh, it's okay. Just don't take it off or anything. <laughs> yeah, it's vanilla, though. I thought for a second that those bees were just going to perma-aggro me and I was about to lose my run. That would have been an end stream angle. But we do have a beehive. And that makes this moon good. Oh no. You ever do Minecraft Bed Wars anymore? I never really did Bed Wars. Money Wars back in the day on uh, Cubecraft, but not Bed Wars all too much. This is why I don't go back to Val. No angle did he have me. It didn't exist. He spawned inside of my skeleton. That's why I don't go to Val. I've been a happy go lucky guy since coming back and not visiting Val a single time. This is why I'm never going there. I don't care if it's the last moon available. I will tackle on an experiment eclipse before I go back to that. I'm never doing it. I'm never doing it. Come that for frame by frame analysis? No, no, no. The only frame by frame needs to be when I typed in the words V, the, the letters V O W. That was what killed me, not the Bracken. Oh. Why did it just cost me money to go to assurance? Why did I lose twelve dollars typing in assurance? I know that the, the run's dead. Like this is a zero. I have no more days left. I need to go to the. I, I know. Why did that cost money? Weird. Death penalty? Oh, it didn't update until, uh... Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Welcome to your first day on the job. This is your very own autopilot ship. They say Valbrackens get paid more by the tentacle man? Oh, you actually don't even need to jump that. Sweet. You ever play mod of the casino is insane. Oh yeah, the slot machines. Yeah, I've seen that. Yep. I bet. There's a whole casino now? Blackjack roll it in slots? What mod is that through? Is it the same one as updated?
Lethal Casino? Ah, okay. Man, that was the way I wanted to go. W key room. Yeah, more loot than I normally get from him. Round two. Yeah, that's that is messed up. That's that's messed up. Don't mind if I do. I do wish that the uh, meltdown, reactor meltdown mod was part of vanilla. I really like that concept. It's probably my favorite mod that I've seen of this game. Just because it feels like something that would be in this game, like vanilla. Also, hearing the voice on Storm Portal tickles my brain in the right way. Hey, we got the music! It heard me out! Oh yeah, I got you, Elite. Yeah. That's kind of why I wish it was in vanilla, because every time that I watch a group play Lethal Company, it's always in there and I get jealous. Sometimes you gotta raw dog life. Because life will just raw dog you back. You gotta give it a taste of its own medicine. When the day begins, life either fists you or you fist life. And it usually comes down to who gets the hand first. Before it's not bad. Pretty lucky that. Never mind. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> Those bullets took so long to get to me. Oh. <sighs> uh. <sighs> I can't do it. I, I can't. I know it's only five hours into the stream. But I've been feeling kind of sick this entire day just because of yesterday. I need sleep. It's a little too late in the stream for me to want to get a whole other run going right now. I do not have the drive for it at the moment. I'm going to hop off before it gets to 7 or 8 a.m. I'm going to regret all my decisions. I'm going to try and reset my schedule and get a good actual U.S. decent stream time going for today. Not tomorrow, tomorrow, but today, tomorrow. Um, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching for a little bit. And I should be live later today. Same time, same place. <laughs> Thanks for hanging, y'all. I will see you on the other side of things. But yeah, that's it. Take care. And I'll see you later. All right. Peace, guys. Bye.